Okay. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to uh, Stockholm Showdown, uh, second installment, though the challenge says number three, but whatever, uh, let's just call this the third one. Um, and uh, right now we hey everyone, have uh, uh, welcome to, uh, no one Stockholm on commentary showdown. with me, um, but uh, whatever. Uh, Actually, there's nothing really to commentate on yet either. Uh, but we're starting up the matches. Some match should be on stream soon. Uh, shortly. <sighs> Snubben som snikade sticken liksom. Um, du, du är på samma sida bracketen som Bubblan och Keffi och Staffan och Leo. Vadå? Ah, nej, nej, vi har shufflat. Alltså, det, då var det ju i ordningen av folk som hade reggat. Uh, nu har vi shufflat och sen lagt in seeding för elig kvalet Och tre av dem kom inte. Två var reggade och kom inte. Och en var inte ens reggad. Bashfest är ju bangfest. Största banger. Ingen är bra. 
<laughs> ja, ja, precis. <laughs> men det var det. Alltså, äh, Attra sa så här, bara, nej men han sa till mig att han skulle komma. Så här, jag pratade med honom igår kväll. Jag bara, ja men sen dess hade jag ätit två familjepizzor. Så du vet aldrig vad som kommer att hända, liksom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, story of the day so far is that Bashfest is a banger. Who would have thought? Um, yeah, uh, I'm not. I think we're starting up matches off stream, but there should be at least one on stream as well. I think. Let me see if it's going in. Okay, here we have something to go in, but I don't know who's playing. Let me see if I can get some information on that. Oh, it should be Pedro and Pippi. Okay, nobody told me they were actually starting the match. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we have Pedro playing Nash and Pippi playing uh, Nikali. I guess this is the first match. I mean, yeah, I wasn't told they started at all. But um, looking really good for Pedro right now. Could be definitely being put on the ropes. I'm not about to do any solo commentary actually because this sucks. So I'm probably gonna wait till someone else shows up <laughs> because solo commentary is the worst thing in the world. Round two. Uh, I just see if I can sneak someone in. It's really difficult to find someone to jump on commentary. Let me see if someone doesn't have a match soon. Actually, I have a match soon. Definitely need to find someone to here. Scotland shouldn't have a match for a while. Scotland, can you come up commentary? Okay, we're gonna have Scotland joining me on commentary. Uh, hey man. Um, okay, so it's the first match of Pedro versus Pipi. I think it's the first match. Yeah, uh, and one one in round. Uh, the first round, Pedro was like super dominant, but I guess Pipi found something to exploit. Yeah, he found the V trigger. He found the V trigger. <laughs> he pressed the button and it was like, this round is mine now. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good like move for Nikali. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it shoots him up the tiers. Like, I played, uh, I guess, Nikali yesterday and I noticed, like, pretty much every button he has anti airs. Nah, really? I was jumping, yeah, and he did, like, standing medium punch, even fucking standing medium kick. <laughs> and I got anti air, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> wow. That's messed up. The uh, fair damage output. Yeah, Nikali has crazy damage once he gets a hit. Oh, wow, he really read that V trigger there, but it gets super, uh, and Pedro takes the first game. I thought that was going to be a waste, but then I saw his health and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, this matchup is probably pretty difficult for Nikali. I would imagine so. Like, Nash has so many good tools and a lot of what he does is safe on block. Yeah. And I think it's pretty difficult for Nikali to, like, succeed in Street Fighter Five unless he gets to punish his opponent. Exactly, like what Nikali wants to do in this game is just uh, be able to play footsies uh, or like pressure up close because that's where all of his damage comes from. Yeah. But Nash is pretty much, well aside from Dalsim, the best character in this game to just keep people away from him. Well, Pippi goes with Dalsim? Uh, okay, I've met Pippi a few times online and I've only ever seen him play Nikali. Yeah. Like, sure, tier-wise, Dalsim is probably a better choice, yes. but... <laughs> <laughs> he is. I don't know if Fifi has a solid Dalsim or not. I think this is the first game ever where Dalsim has the highest win rate. Yeah, yeah, probably. Like, usually, there are a few good Round Dalsim one. players but and a lot of, like, fast Dalsim players yeah. that lose a lot. Yeah. But here, uh, Dalsim seems to be, like, more setup-based. Yeah, he does so much damage too. Yeah, like he does damage and he's like safe or plus on pretty much everything. Yeah. And uh, 
Like the biggest problem I have with Dalsim is like when he throws a fireball at mid range, yeah. and then he slides afterwards, because that covers like you can't jump because there's a fireball there, mm -hmm. and you can't walk or dash because the slide is gonna push you into the fireball. Oh yeah. So I, I really don't know what a lot of characters are supposed to do at that range. Oh, that that is a puzzle. <laughs> I guess like if you have some sort of armored move, maybe. Yeah, but if you have then, something that like can like uh, uh, get you from mid range into his face fast, then yeah. that would work. But most characters don't have that. No, exactly. Like Laura has that if she has meter. But yeah, Akami has it. Yeah, Akami has it. Nikali has it with charge. Oh yeah. I guess Bison with charge. Yeah, I'm not sure if Bison could do it. No, maybe not. His uh, scissor kicks like. Notoriously lost their early invulnerability. Yeah. Uh, so he's not. It's not the same kind of tool anymore. But oh, yeah, it looks like Pedro is taking the upper hand here anyway. Uh, I guess PP doesn't quite have a Dalsim yet. It's gonna be some good damage, but uh, he doesn't really have any teleport. setup afterwards. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, Pedro takes it too well. He wanted to do the instant teleport to get out of yeah, the corner, but he messed it up and got jump uh, fierce instead. Oh yeah. I know uh, I've talked a bit about uh, it being rough uh, when you're playing um, Chun-Li. If you mess up the uh, instant air legs, it gets... Like, you, you're probably gonna get punished. Yeah, you just get a regular jump medium kick. Exactly. Which isn't awesome. No, that's not great. But for Dalsim, it's like... Twice as bad. Yeah. <laughs> because his jump is like it never ends. <laughs> it just keeps going. Like it's so floaty in this game. Like I, I mess up my punish all the time yeah. because uh, a lot of Dalsims like to do. I think it like uh, jump back medium punch, the instant overheads. Yeah. So in Street Fighter 4 when you blocked it, uh, you had to like be really fast with the punish. Otherwise he would recover. But in this game it's like you dash up and you like wait, press your button and. <laughs> A whiff still, because he's still up in there and like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't met that many Dalsims yet, because he's a fairly rare character online. Not in high rank. Not in high rank. No that, that's why you don't meet them, because like all the Dalsims just fucking climb. Yeah, they, you can't they lose winning. with Dalsim, that's yeah. why. <laughs> but if, uh, we don't have any Dalsim players in Sweden, right? No, like, no not, not yet. Not so far anyway. Even though Yagami should be playing. Yeah, it. Yagami will probably play Dalsim at some point. At Hopefully. least as a sub-character. Yeah. Okay, so Pedro, his reward for beating Pippi is going up against Brick. Um, Brick, uh, right now, I mean, there's no telling if he's actually the best player in Stockholm, but right now he has the best results. Yeah. So, today he might change that, but so far... Yeah, I played against uh, Yagami and Bublin the other day. Yeah. And uh, Yagami's view is really strong. Yeah, uh, Bublin... Like, he's probably my, my bet to win this tournament. Yagami? Yeah. He's actually, like, in the previous events, he's been kind of underperforming, but, uh, I mean, if his Ryu is good, then, I mean, he's a good player, obviously. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he doesn't have, like, the matchup experience he needs, but, like, uh, looking one or two months down the road, then, yeah, he's going to be a huge threat. Mm. Makes sense. Uh, let's see if we have a match coming up. I, I wish we could like up the communication here because yeah. nobody's telling me that stuff's happening. I'm thinking like what game is next? Yeah. But you don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I would imagine Break Pedro, but like I don't know. Uh, give me a second. Gustav? 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 We can match up a stream. Can you say every time it's in the game? Yes, I can't hear it. No. Pato against Filio. Okay. Alright, so Pato, well that's uh, Ikea Patrick. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm gonna play. So, uh, I guess I'll be right back. Um, I thought that you were playing... No, oh, okay, the re... Yeah, yeah.
I'm down here. You were up against Bublin second game before. Uh, yeah, I'm Yagami second game now. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so be right back. I'll try to get someone to come on here with you. Uh, okay, let's see here. I think the game is starting, but there might be a button test. So we got uh, Patrick on Chun Li and the Filio on Can. Yeah, it looks like the real match. Um, this matchup is pretty good for Chun Li. We got Northlander coming on the mic. Chun. Oh. What up? And now Paul, is it on? Uh, then it was. Nice. Ah, yeah. Aha, it's going to be a number. Okay. 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 Oh, nice. Yo, what's up guys, this is Northlander. Long time since I've been on the stream. So Patrick took the first game pretty convincingly. This matchup is pretty good for Chun-Li. Um, she has some of the best normals in the game and can... He has to take huge risks to get in on her. Okay, so yeah, you've been playing a lot of Chun. Right? Yeah. Almost, like I started out with uh, Mika at the start, but... Uh, Mika? Yeah. Alright. But she's... Past here. Yeah, no cons intended, <laughs> but like she's pretty bad. Yeah, I try to be. Yeah. <laughs> like if when you get going, like she's super good, but it's, in some matchups, like you can never get in consistently. It's like throwing a dice. Like oh, I lost. <laughs> so Patrick takes the first match. Totally yeah. Win. I This is the first win for player Like this game or this matchup isn't even dangerous until Ken like gets in your face. Before that is all Chun's game. That was a bad fireball. Yep. If they jump, it gets them. If they stand still, it gets them. <laughs> yeah. I feel you doesn't seem to know how to deal with it. Can you uppercut it? Uh, yeah, you can uppercut it, you can uh, crush and pierce it. Oh. Which is probably best with Ken, because you get the crush counter. Ryu has the easiest time dealing with it, he can just parry when he sees her get off the ground. Three hits. And then full punish. I thought it was like a difficult matchup for Chun to begin with, and then. And then they found that, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think it's gonna take a while before people uh, start winning with Ken in this game. Yeah, he, he's good. All the characters is cheap. Yeah. So like, super awful. Well, Fang seems to be bad right now. Really? Okay. Yeah. Like, he has some matchups that seem like... Uh, oh, what the fuck? He did a crush crush and dash forward and then nothing. I guess he wanted to do standing medium punch, but that's not... He wanted to make the uppercut. No, I think he wanted to do the full punish, like, which is standing heavy kick and dash, yeah. standing medium punch, crouching medium kick, and that's the bird kick. But if you press it too early, then you get nothing. Okay. So I it's think that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> Two nil. Two nil. This is the second win for player one. Um, let's see what's the next match gonna be. Uh, <laughs> we, we I'll be that he dropped all the combos. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. So 
now we're gonna see Pedro and Brick. Brick's playing uh, Zangief. I don't know what player Pedro has picked up. Uh, I saw him play uh, Nash. Nash? Yeah. Okay. And Brick is obviously Zangief. Yeah, always Zangief. <laughs> He told me that he might be doubling in Mika, but mm. I don't think that's gonna happen. No, <laughs> not to <laughs> <No>. play. Sang gives <laughs> a lot better grappler. Because I thought I was gonna like Mika. I played Hakan yeah. before. So I wanted to like a mix of character, yeah. like Hakan. And I thought Mika was supposed to be like that. but She, she is, she but yeah. Yeah, it's harder to get in. Awful. <laughs> no range at all in the throws. Yeah, and the one that has range <laughs> throws them to the other side of the screen, yeah. so it's uh, like, you're out now. It wasn't for me. <laughs> but I think, uh, like, with a few tweaks she can be good, but right now, like, it's too hard to, it's too hard to get in. Yeah. People are still figuring out. Yeah. Like, you can still get in with some, like, gimmicks. Yeah. Uh, she has her uh, jump splash, mm, yeah. which uh, messes people's anti-airs up. But then they're gonna find like one anti hair that works against everything anyway, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah character can be really good when people don't, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so. And Mika is like the blow up master. Yeah. When people figure it out, yeah, not so good anymore. Yeah. Yeah, Nash versus Zongier. I think in this game to have mix ups, you don't really need uh, a command throw. Because regular throws are just so strong. Uh, it is Like the tech window for regular throws is like super short uh, compared to Street Fighter 4 and uh, like the punishment you get for fading throws is really high so you don't need the uh, command throw to get throws in. Nice to get out. Yeah. You don't want to be in the corner. No. <laughs> but that was a mistake from Brick, uh, letting him get out that easily. If you're if you're Sangeep and you have uh, Nash in the corner, then you should just be using lights instead of mediums. Because if he does his V trigger, you can throw it. Okay. It can't be over. Round two. Rick takes the first round. Yeah. Because I think like on the highest level, if Nash gets out, then you're probably not gonna get him in the corner again that round. Guys, please say yes. Yeah. Can Nash do the teleport backwards not to get away? He can, he can, but there's no reason to do it. Like, it's better to save the V trigger for if you end up in the corner. Yeah. Or to finish the round with the combo. Nice. Oh! Gotta be there! <laughs> Rip! Oh! So hard to react. Not in range for SPD. Yeah. Starts running. Like, <laughs> fuck. But in this game, it feels like Sangif is always in range for SPD. This yeah. is the like when it's really first good. win. Like, I've been playing Brick a lot in this game. And uh, Sangif's poor medium kick, which is like the short hop. He keeps whiffing it, like super far away, and I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> this, is, this is too far away. Oh. Oh, nice. Good conversion. Oh, well, that was risky. Not the bad. Oh, this is too bad. I think Pedro needs to use his movement more. In, like, in his face. Yeah. Uh, Which is, it's not bad against Tangip in this game to be in his face. But he is, he, like, he's pretty much only uses his fireballs. Uh, he has to use his normals more. Otherwise, Sangif is gonna, like, gain the space. See, like, he almost gained half a screen there. Through one fireball. And that's it. He has to push him back again with a uh, standing heavy kick and forward heavy punch. Oh, ah, he messed it up. He tried to do SP. Yeah. Oh. 
Wow, Red. The Hail Mary. One thing a lot of people don't know about uh, Sangeep's Heaven Punch is that if you do a low, then it doesn't absorb. Like, he just gets countered. You so can hit him out of it with a low attack. Yeah. Same with Bird is uh, forward, what is it like, forward medium punch or forward health punch. Yeah. Okay, so we, we uh, so Brick takes on this one. Yeah. Alright, Brick takes it. 2 0. I'm not sure who we have next. This is the second win. <sighs> I can see that somebody is Facebook stalking me. What? <laughs> There's a tab up here with my Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear who was up next on the stream. I don't think they the stream. All right. What's up guys, it's uh, Martin Tensionans back and we have uh, Yagami as well, uh, let me fix these names, uh, actually do you still go by Yagami because every tournament you write Leo, yeah I don't know, uh, <laughs> I'm tired of the Le Yagami next, what, ah, no, what did you do, it was I who lost against myself, don't worry, um okay so we got uh Lagerboy, also known as Scatan. I should just write Scatan honestly, because then everyone will know <laughs> who he is. And Acid Wolf, I believe it was. Right. Who who's Acid Wolf? Is he a new guy? The thing is I don't know people by their names. If I saw his face, I'd probably know who he is, oh, yeah, but yeah. we can't see the stream station from here, yeah. so <laughs> uh <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well it's at least someone I've never heard about, I think. So mm. it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, no Street Fighter Four results are being taken into consideration in the seating here. We're just going by the little Street Fighter Five stuff that's happened in Stockholm so far, which is one tournament. <laughs> uh, so that's the only thing we're using as basis for seating. So. Ah. Uh, oh, mm. Um. Yeah. Ah, no there. Ah, yeah. Lär fortsätta sitta här för att se. Det är nu ingen fara. Ah. All right. Well, they're at the console at least. <laughs> So I'm not sure if we have the sides right. I guess we'll notice when someone picks Chun Li. Yeah. Unless both pick Chun Li. Yeah, then, we'll <laughs> then we'll have to wait. I don't wonder if um, probably a lot of people have missed the button like pre checks thingy. Yeah. Have you seen that one? That is really good. Yeah. Um, Where you just press the buttons to yeah, get and yeah. Yeah, I that's really good. Okay, I guess stop this, so I yeah, but it's like old habits die hard. So people, even if they know about it, they kind of forget about it probably. Yeah. There we go. So Scatan's player one, as will player two. Ken, I think like, I think in a lot of ways Ken feels like somewhat of a lackluster character in this game. But I think more than actually being bad, he's just difficult. 
Yeah, I think so too. I think um, I think people one. haven't figured him out Fight. completely. Yeah. Because he, like, if you look at him in mid range, he obviously feels kind of like a uh, like to Ryu. Yeah. Like, kind of Ryu, but worse fireball and not as good mid range poke, etc. Mm. But he's actually really good. Too. Yeah. And his uh, beat track trigger activates, like he can confirm a lot of stuff from a lot of ranges. He can allow him to do that. Yeah, he has a lot of good stuff in this game. I think, uh, like, in the right hand, he does so much damage, like uh, Reinhardt is playing Ken. And when you watch Reinhardt's Ken, it's like, holy sh. Yeah, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this character's probably really good. <laughs> so far, this is looking very good for Skatan. Yeah, Skatan, uh, obviously. I mean, I'm not sure still who has to move is because I can't see his face, but. Uh, Skatan, obviously a player of very high caliber in the Stockholm scene, and uh, Feng Chun Li, uh, considered by many to be the best or second best character yeah, in the yeah. game. <laughs> so obviously a very strong pick. Yep. I mean, I, I guess he's really happy about that because he's been playing for a long time. Yeah. When he played ST, he played Chun in the Street Fighter 4, he played Chun like. Uh, he started with Chun, then when he was stuck around, and yeah. he like more. But I think. What you really like was to leave it to the Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. No, I mean, if this character and she's top tier, so of course it's gonna exactly. wreak havoc. Yeah. He actually told me uh, when we were in Cannes that his favorite character in Street Fighter, like character wise, is Sakura. But I don't know, like playstyle wise, it might be Chun Li. Yeah, I think so too. But he also had some trouble in the beginning of Street Fighter V because. Uh, the more passive playstyle he'd used Chun with uh, in uh, Four it doesn't really work here. Yeah, most characters have like aren't really little, like they used to be. No, I mean Ryu is pretty, pretty straightforward. Style. Yeah, Ryu is probably the best one if you want to like ease into it. Yeah, so, like every other character. Like if you were a Bison player, you pick a Bison in this game, you're gonna feel weird. Yeah. If you, you were a Dalton player, you pick a Dalton here, you're gonna feel weird. Yeah, Ken, Chun, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you you need to really adapt to what the characters like, and that's not even to talk about like the alpha characters like Karen and Mika. They're completely different from what they were in their games. Uh, but yeah, so Skatan uh, doing some very quick work of Acid Wolf in that first game. Yeah, he Yeah, John, very very strong character in the footsie game. He isn't even using the uh, like what what most. Poppy, among others, have been telling me is that Chun kind of ruins the entire footsie game just by virtue of having the uh, instant air legs. Yeah. Uh, but I was just about to say that Skatan hasn't even been using them that much and now he started using them. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think he feels like currently he's winning oh, the, nice. the ground game. Yeah. And if he's confident doing that, even though TK legs are really. Good. Yeah. They are a risk. Like every every risk. jumping attack is a risk. Even yeah. Though, even though dive kicks are broken. Yeah. And so even beyond like that, the inherent risk of doing a jump attack. Um, if you mess them up, you're yeah, gonna you get die. tagged really hard. Cause <laughs> that's that's not a good thing. <laughs> nice. Uh, good stuff from Skatan takes 2-0. Um, let's see. Uh, Charlie win. Not sure what match is coming up next, but. We should see too. Oh, hey! No, uh, we can see their faces. I didn't him. know. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's that guy. <laughs> I didn't know we had a camp. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Um, so let's see what players come up next. <coughs> might be you. Yeah, might be. No, but I don't know. Is that gonna be on stream? <laughs> mm, Not sure. I don't know. I mean, we have a lot. Of if we have, if we have like two names, then those are gonna go on stream yeah. more likely. Do we have a two-name two matchup here? I don't see any. Maybe Brick... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. Something's gonna happen anyway. Yep. So, do we have... Currently, it seems like no one is actually playing. I guess everyone just finished the matches. Cause yeah, it looks... Oh, you know what it probably is? Uh, Gustav's doing all the matches, and he's probably playing Guilty Gear right now. Yeah, but I think he ends it over to st uh, Stefan when that happens. Maybe. Okay, Guilty Gear uh, is uh, progressing well. Cool. They're down oh, yeah. to winner's semis. 
Hey, we can actually see the Guild Gear message from here. Yeah. Barely. <laughs> You might get called in. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping an ear out. Yeah. Did you even say that? Did I just translate the eye out thingy to ear? Yeah, yeah. you did. <laughs> <laughs> I think your ears are automatically out, man. Uh, probably. People liking the beard of the cheese. So how many are actually signed up today? Um, I think 38. 38, wow. So that's pretty good. Uh, look, it says 41, but I think there were three players. There were only three okay. players who signed but didn't show up. All right. So they got... Uh, uh, what happened to... Um, oh, sorry, I gotta go. Okay. See you later. Yeah, see you in a bit. I'll bring someone else in. Uh, Scottan, maybe? Uh, Irbo? All right, cool. Scottan's joining us on the mic again. Um, so we're gonna have... Uh, it's the best excuse to sit down and drink coffee. It is, yeah. You, you get a free seat, that's, that's a big plus. Definitely. So we're gonna have uh, Adeko, who I lost to, and uh, Yagami. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was playing pretty bad. <laughs> so okay, I would we're playing assume top two down, I guess, in the brackets. Yeah, probably. So I would assume that Leo is gonna win this pretty easily. Uh, We'll see. But yeah, probably. Who does Adek? Uh? Oh wait, is that off stream? Oh, never mind, we got... Jiori uh, and Skrigfisk on uh, stream. Uh, Adek was a uh, micro player. I thought... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Jiori was playing Fang, but I don't know if he is anymore. Probably not, because Fang is really bad. Well... That wouldn't stop Yuri from playing Fang, though. <laughs> no, but man, he was... Then he, he would play Fang and like complain about how broken every other character is and stuff. Yeah, but I think he gave up on that because... <laughs> like, he was really salty about <laughs> Fang being so bad. <laughs> so I think he kind of dropped the character altogether, but I'm not sure. He is? Nice. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. But Mika is like the blow up master. Player of the four team. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Not this is doomed. probably. <laughs> Yeor is probably playing Bison. Uh, sorry, Yeor is probably playing Mika because he was playing Mika some as well. So I gotta. Yeah, Yeor is Mika. Switch the names. There we go. Yeah, but like. I don't know if it's just me, but I think Mika is like only one step above Fang. Like she's not that good either. Like Mika is probably a lot better than Fang is. But yeah, but I mean, in the like, I do, I think she's the second worst. But I do think she's a lot better than Fang still. But yeah. I don't. Maybe she yeah, actually might be the second worst. Mm. But I, I think it was uh, Justin Wong who said that. When you play against Mika, she either feels top uh, top three best in the game or like bottom three worst in the game. Yeah, that's like true. Like if she gets in, it's like this is broken as fuck. And yeah. <laughs> like some games, you just can't get in. Yeah. Oh, okay, Yor did get in, but made a bad call in the command throw. Okay, get stuffed by the standing minion. I don't agree with going ham on the command throws in the corner um, because if they read it, then they're out. Exactly, yeah, and it's easy to get a punish when you're in the corner, right? Yeah, and yeah. like if you do a regular throw and they jump, you still then you can you recover. Can punish them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. I usually try to go for that when I'm uh, playing Laura. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Mika and Laura, they're pretty different characters, but the game plan is fundamentally similar. Yeah, it's, it's similar. Okay, good Laura stuff. Laura is pretty much here. a better Mika. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Mika with a fireball. Okay, good stuff. He gets a stun. And he has full super bar. Can he kill him? Uh, no. Oh, uh, that's probably not gonna kill him. Uh, good damage, though. Okay, so Skig Fisk in big trouble right now. Oh, nice. Gets a crush counter. They're sending heavy punch? That's forward heavy punch. 
forward heavy punch. Which is plus on block. Oh wow. Nice. Not bad. Okay, good stuff from Yer there. Takes the first game. First win for player one. Round one. Yer has some fans Fight. in the chat. It just struck me that somebody has unlocked the color for Mika on this console. Oh yeah. Because uh, her regular her second color is pink, right? Yeah. Maybe Yer was uh, here <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, really good stuff here from Squeak Fist, should get the whole... Yep, yep. that's fast. practically a perfect. Yeah, I think it's only white light, but yeah, not quite a perfect, but yeah. Maybe it ate like a standing medium or something. Yeah, true. Yeah, but I mean, that's gonna happen with Bison. If you press uh, when he has a button out, uh, it's gonna hurt. Uh, considered by who to be top tier? Oh, I don't know. In the chat, like... Mika is uh, considered by many to be top tier. By who? Please give me some names, because nobody I've spoken to has said that. Like, oh wow. Mika, like I said before, she's the queen of blow but she's definitely yeah, not absolutely. top tier. Yeah, absolutely. Some games, you don't get to play, because you're yeah. just in a mix-up until you die, but... Yeah. That's not most games. Fudo? I don't even think Fudo thinks she's top tier. Probably not. Like, just because he plays her, that doesn't mean he thinks she's uh, top tier, but I don't know, has he said it? Because she, uh, or he likes her. Yeah, I mean, if he said it, then sure, but, you know... Rainbow Impact, okay. Okay, good stuff from Skip Fisk here. Another round much like the first one. Like, the thing is, if you look at the other like top tiers in this game, you have like Sean, Dalsip, Ryu, Nash. All of them can handle pretty much every other matchup. Yeah. Like, there's no matchup where it's like, good stuff no, you can't Fisk. do anything here, you're just wrecked. Yeah. Uh, but Mika is not like that. Like, she has matchups where she gets to play, and she has matchups where it's extremely hard to get in. Yeah. And that's a huge reason for why she can't be top tier. Sure, I mean, there are characters, I don't know if Mika's one of them, but there are always characters in games that, like, demol like Super Smash Bros. Melee is a good example, where Captain Falcon demolishes everyone below him in the tiers. Yeah. But he's really bad against the six people above him. Yeah. So he can't win the tournament. Wasn't it the same in Third Strike with some characters? Yeah, Oro. For who? Oro. Oro, yeah. But Oro, he can't even do combos on Chun or something, right? He can't hit her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so this match uh, is just going back and forth. Like, it's a near perfect every time for one side. <laughs> so you yeah, are on match point now. Wow, that was a weird start from Dictator with yeah. the pairs. Okay, good stuff here from Yer. Can you keep it going? Okay, gets knocked out. Uh, one thing I realized in this game is like, when people... Uh, or characters like Dictator or, well, any character that doesn't have a reversal Shoryu yeah. uh, has V-Bar, you want to do your meet to jump ins with lights. Because you can uh, throw if they V-reversal. If you do a heavy, you can't. Yeah. Okay, very good pressure here from Yer. Very close to taking Squeak Fisk. Oh, is that... Oh. Uh, no, I don't think Birdie beats Shun. I don't know who beats Chun, Plain. Dalsim? Maybe? Yeah, Dalsim is a problem. Yeah. But because I remember you saying Dalsim and Ryu were difficult, but I don't know if that means they actually yeah. like... Yeah, but they're difficult for me. Oh, uh, yeah. I have to play okay. more to know like if they're, it's me or Chun. Right. Yeah, that's always a thing that people uh, have an easy time forgetting, that while there are character matchups, there are also player matchups. Yeah. Okay, so Yeor took it 2-1. Let me in challenge. Win for player one. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know next match yet, but we should see it soon. Probably Agami, since he got shafted a second ago. Yep. <laughs> not on stream? Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got... Yagami coming up on stream. Yeah, against Atok. Atok. He's a uh, Mika player. Uh, who I lost to a second ago. I was playing really bad. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Mika versus Lara is the derpiest matchup in the yeah, game. I know. <laughs> Something's gonna happen, you don't know what. It's, yep. like, it's like a circus.
Oh, Sako showed some uh, Chun-Li tech. I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, I heard Sako was playing Karin, but after like a week, he gave up on her. Like most people. Yeah, except Mago. Oh yeah, Mago Karin. plays Karin? Yeah. I mean, I don't think Karen's bad or anything, but it feels like a lot of her stuff isn't as effective as... Like, she gets away with a lot of things. And a lot of other characters can do what she does and be a bit more safe with it. Yeah, but a lot of her specials are punishable on top. Yeah. Uh, except uh, the back. The, yeah, or it's the, like shoulder. the back shoulder or whatever. And uh, her anti-airs are pretty bad. Which yeah. is horrible when you're playing a footsie character because your footsies or normals are going to be better than your oppon opponent, which yeah. forces them to jump. But if you can't punish them for jumping, then yeah, exactly. your game plan What's is the ruined points? right there. <laughs> That's like the uh, Street Fighter 4 Chun Li against dive kicks. Like, yeah, I'm forcing you to jump, but I can't anti air your dive kick, so it doesn't matter. I mean, like, the most difficult character to be good with, I'd say Fang just because he's so limited, probably. I don't know. But maybe, like, Karen does require a lot of, like, very different level of execution compared to uh, the other characters in the game, I feel. I think uh, it's going to be different levels of easy to get good on some characters for different players. Yeah. Like some players are naturally good at playing footsies. Some kit players are naturally good at like uh, uh, memorizing setups and stuff. So if you're good with setups uh, but your footsies are bad, yeah. then you're probably like going to be successful with someone like Mika or Lara yeah. or Dalsim. Like someone who has more like setup based play. Uh, while on the other hand, if you are good with like footsies but not setups, then Ryu or Chun is like amazing picks. Yeah, exactly. So I think yeah. it's, it's hard to say like this character is easier to play than this character. It does depend a lot on the player. Yeah. But even then, if we're looking at footsie, oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, if we're looking at footsie characters, like it does feel, at least from my perspective, that Karen is probably one of the more difficult ones to play well in the footsie category. Um, yeah, but that's only because her anti-airs are yeah. bad. Yeah, like you were saying, like you can force the opponent to jump, but if you can't do anything about it, what's the point? Yeah. But she, like her execution level is pretty high too, if yeah. you want to do the max damage combos. It's good stuff there from Adeko, good uh, start to the round. Kagami put into the corner. And honestly, like I don't see a reason to play Karen in this game when you have Kagami. No, Kagami does much seem... The same character, except... Kami does most of the stuff Karen does, but better. Yeah, it does seem like that. I've gotten that impression too now. Okay, nice. Higami takes the first game. Ryu wins. This matchup is probably Mika's worst in this game. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, she can't punish Ryu's sweep on range unless she uses EX bar. Uh, she doesn't have a solid way to get past the Hadouken. He has the parry for the drop kick. Uh, he has solid anti airs without having to guess, so it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. I do think that Ryu is kind of difficult for Laura as well, but I think it's probably more difficult for Mika. Like yeah. Like, Mika can't do meaty fireball setups and stuff like that. Yeah. She has to just straight up guess. Yeah. Okay, nice punish. Yagami. And you having a meterless uh, reversal is a huge thing because a lot of characters don't have that. Uh, oh, exactly. So they're not likely to use it. Yeah. But Ryu is gonna use it. Yeah, you, why not? Just do it. Good. Round two. So Ryu is kind of a weird character to see Yagami playing, even though like he's a very good player in general, just like he usually plays a different type of character. Yeah, but I, I'm not that surprised because he was playing Ryu as his like off character in Street Fighter 4 pretty much the whole okay. uh, like lifetime of Street Fighter 4. But All right. uh, he never made it. But oh, I guess wow. playing Rolando for so long made him more comfortable playing characters like Ryu or like more common yeah. characters. People say Ryu's bad because they don't know shit. Sorry, yeah. that's that's how simple it is. Like there, there is no area about Ryu that's bad. Like his fireball is 
probably the best in the game. They easily the best. His game. normals are really good. Yeah. Um, he has one of the highest payoffs for punishing people that are whiffing throws. Yeah. He's got a no bar reversal. He has so much has damage. One of the, yeah, exactly. He has one of the highest damage outputs in the game. Uh, so he's just strong in every area. Like either yeah. he's the best at something, or he's top like top high tier at it. Yeah, exactly. So it's just I, I, there's like no area in the game where he isn't top five in that area. Yeah. Oh, oops. I'm supposed to go to this screen. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I've seen people say that Ryu is bad too, but like. They don't know. What they they don't have about. anything to back it up with. They just say he's bad, but there there's no like rationale behind it. It's just no. like, oh, Ryu's not that good. Why? Oh, he isn't. <laughs> like, okay. Like, have you seen his light punch fireball in this game? It's it, pretty much like a sonic boom in Street Fighter yeah. Four. Yeah. It's like the it goes so slowly, you can throw it and walk behind it. Yeah. And if they don't block it, like if they jump or try to do anything, you can punish that. It's like, okay, he has that now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why people are downplaying like uh, projectiles only so much in this game because Ryu is actually really good at it. Yeah, like Sean Lee has really good projectiles. Ryu's are super good. Yeah. Nash's are super good. I mean, projectiles are good. Yeah. The only one that has a bad projectile is Ken. Yeah. And, and I mean, his EX one is like amazing. Yeah, exactly. If you burn the meter, it's really good. Uh, sorry, Marcel isn't here. Uh, you'll have to hate him on Facebook or something. I don't know why he isn't here. He usually shows up to this stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh. Studying for a math exam. Good luck, man. Oh, I have to play. Okay, good luck. I'll bring someone else in. <coughs> um, who can I bring in? Huh? Oh, yeah, can comment here, so. Okay, so Stephanie, uh, the photographer, is going out searching for a second commenter, uh, commentator for me. No, it's no problem, man. Just keep asking questions. It's the only way to learn. All right, we're gonna have Brick joining me on commentary. Oh, the resident Sangeef player. Yo, what's up, guys? I don't know who these players are on no, stream I've right now. I've never seen them before. Uh, nameless. Let me see. Nameless son of shoulder boy. All right. Vicken Vicken. Okay. All right. So we got nameless boy. And uh, what was the other guy's name? Uh, no, nameless son. That is it. And shoulder boy. Okay. There we go. I don't know. Who these guys are playing, but all right. <clears throat> Cam your shoulder boy. Okay, thank you. Here you can see the gorgeous brick joining us. <laughs> no, I am not dropping Sangif for Nikali. I am. No way, Sangif's too good. I am playing Nikali on the side. But really, your Sangif is crazy good. Uh, it, I mean, it's improved. At first, I I didn't really know what to do with Sangif, but I think. It, I've I've wa I've watched a lot of Snake guys. Yeah. Studied the tapes, and yeah. I think I've I've have a good grasp on how to play him. Now. Yeah, I think like Sangeef is pretty good character if you do everything right. Yeah, in a match. exactly. It's but all about you can't beast. always do everything right. Exactly, which is why on paper he is considered like the worst character. Yeah, I think I think Sangif is bottom five, but that doesn't mean he's bad. Yeah, exactly. There are no bad characters. There are only better or worse characters. Maybe okay, so let's see what uh, Cami versus Birdie. Round yeah, Cami versus Birdie. Um, I don't know what this matchup uh, is like. I think Cami is probably a better character overall, but like she does have some trouble getting in if uh, Birdie isn't in the air. Yeah. Uh, okay. I wonder how Birdie is gonna handle like, the the side picks. Shouldn't he be able to stuff it with that headbutt thing? Like maybe, but uh, like he stuffs pretty much every other attack in the game. Yeah, I mean obviously Shoulder Boy is totally dominating here, but it feels like Nameless Son isn't really using uh, Birdie's enormous to their full potential. Yeah, he's just blocking. Because a big thing with Birdie is to zone your opponent out with like good normals and uh, his anti-air and everything, you know. And 
like that's the thing with Cammy. She's not bad. She's pretty good, but she becomes amazing if you let her in. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, Cammy just getting in that ass. Yeah, she's she's going in. Then. I don't no think, problem. I don't think Nameless Son has. I have an answer to this. Probably not. It doesn't look like he's he knows what to do against Cammy here. Oh, now there. Yeah. One. Can we get the Tony. Oh, okay, no. nice. No. Okay. A lot of dive kicks going in here and. Like, if you look at this, without really knowing the game, it probably looks like Cammy's ridiculously OP, but you can stop her dive kicks. Yeah, you can jab her out of everything in the yeah. air, pretty much. Except maybe the EX style. Yeah, it's probably just a nameless song. Either he doesn't know the matchup that well, or maybe he's not as experienced of a player to be able to react to them. Okay, nice. Good chain. No, that's okay, no fun. Yeah, Nameless Son putting up a little bit more of a fight here, but I don't think he really knows what he wants to do against Kami. Okay, he has to reborn him out. He should just, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, he's backing out. Okay, well, he's at least avoiding the... Oh, now he's getting hit. Okay, good damage. I think it's so bad. I think he's gonna get hit by the dog. Oh. Yeah. oh, wow. Oh, but he gets stunned. So, Shoulder Boy takes this round too, probably? Oh, not quite. Uh, the sweetheart, I always rate quit every single match, even every, when you win. Every rate <laughs> Even when you win. <laughs> That's good. Okay, good stuff from Shoulder Boy. Uh, match point right now. That, yeah, I was just gonna say that should be punishable. Okay, Shoulder Boy definitely getting to set the pace of the game. If you get to do that as Kami, that's like... Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this... I don't think... Don't let her! Um, Bison is like... He's okay. I think he's a bit overrated, but... His normals are really, really good, and the tele teleport dash is... Frustrating. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. But I think, like, if you put in time to counter Bison... He's not... He's not bad, but he's not great either. You just yeah. need to know when you get the press buttons. And Bison doesn't have, like, 10 bajillion get out of jail options like he did in Street Fighter 4. So if you get him pressured or like in the corner, it's, he has to V reversal pretty much yeah. to get out of pressure. And if he re V reversals, uh, he doesn't have access to the V trigger, which is like one of the best V triggers in the game. Yeah. So just, yeah. He has great offense, uh, many ways to like, get in on your opponent's face and pressure, but uh, not really anything else. Let's see what match is coming up next. Uh, might be you. Might be me. Uh, we'll see. We should be calling out the matches soon. I'm assuming we're like keeping with winners. Oh, they haven't even started losers yet. So, uh, welcome guys to Web Holland Stockholm Showdown. This is at uh, Kung Solmen Friedensplan in Stockholm. Uh, we're running Street Fighter V and Guilty Gear Exerd. Guilty Gear progressing well. Guilty Gear is down to the top 8 now. Street Fighter still has a way to go. Street Fighter has 38 entrants. I don't know if... Okay. Okay, Leo Yagami, that is, versus Gior on stream. I know Gior plays uh, Mika. Yeah. He knows a lot about the game, but I haven't. S I, he he looks pretty sloppy in his play. Misses uh, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Yagami, <laughs> I don't think he knows that much about the game, but he is godlike as you. Yeah. Said. Yagami's he, Ryu has been getting a lot of hype the last few days. Yeah. He is not the most. Uh, knowledgeable guy uh, right now about the 35 but the way he plays the shimmies he does it's really crazy to look it's really fun to watch yeah he is just playing on soul fundamentals and reactions yeah and uh, when Scatman was here earlier we were saying that Mika is probably uh, her dif most difficult matchup is probably Ryu Really? So it, it depends on if Yagami has actually played against Amika or not. Yeah, 
I mean, yeah, Mika is, if Mika gets you like uh, in a knockdown in the corner or something, yeah. I guess, I mean, you can always reversal, uh, reversal uh, uppercut if you, yeah. if you if you want to, but uh, it's really hard to get her off you if the Mika knows what he's doing. Right. If he's really accurate with his, uh, with his stuff. Yeah, if the Mi uh, Mika player knows the setups, sure, but like the prob the big problem is to get in to begin with. Yeah, exactly. Because like Ryu has so many options, and one of Mika's main moves is doing the uh, drop kick. A lot of people can't really do much about that. It's kind of telegraphed, but Ryu can just parry. Yeah, and uh, you can bet that uh, Yagami is gonna parry that yeah. because his reactions are like the best in Sweden, I think. They're up there. Okay, so this should be Ryu versus I think, Mika. I think Mika, Mika also has that uh, really good uh, like mid-air uh, stomach splash. It just goes straight down. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it's on block, but it's really ambiguous and uh, yeah. it always, somehow it always catches me off guard. I know I that it's unsafe, but I don't know how unsafe. Yeah. So if you see that coming, then uh, the great. But, like, that's yeah. like really good really way Oh, names are on the wrong side. Sorry. There we go. So Yagami with Ryu and Yor with Mika. Um, like, Yor is, is a pretty good player uh, in general for fighting games, but Yagami is on a different level. Yeah, Yagami is just like, if you didn't know, he was. He pretty much won every tournament the latest year or two in Street Fighter 4. Yeah. He is just. You, you can't stop the guy. Yeah. Yagami, during the entire time of Street Fighter 4, he was a top 3 player uh, in Sweden. And towards the end, he was top 1. Like the, the last one and a half years or so. So, yeah, it looks like. Okay. Yor goes for the half clap uh, eight times in a row. Yeah. I'm not, I, I don't think Gear really knows what to do against Yagami here. If he actually gets a knockdown, then maybe he can get some crazy stuff started, but... He has to get in. Yagami this, keeping this him at bay with the crouch like medium a, kick. A to get in, really he's gonna... Yagami's gonna upcut every single time. Yeah. No he's not gonna be able to jump in. Unless he like reads a poke and jumps, then maybe he'll get through. Uh. Okay, gets the V-trigger. Doesn't get anything from it. Up. There it is. Yagami gets the knockdown and hard. another throw. Nice, good damage from Yagami and whiff punishes the uh, drop kick. Okay, so Yagami making that a quick 1 0. I, th I, I can. I can. I think I can. Say for sure it's gonna be a quick a two. Or win yeah, I'm not. I'm not telling Georg out. Like miracles can happen, but uh, damn. He, need, he needs to like find. Oh, yeah, there's there the parry. Yeah. I mean that is Mika's best option to get in, but against Ryu that's completely nullified because of the uh, parry. Yep. And now Yagami has the the pro okay, goes for the pro. Does the same thing as last time. Yagami has his flow chart going. Okay, gets knocked down. What can he get from here? Nothing. Knockdown, obviously not as. Oh wow! Oh, that doesn't get punished. Uh, knockdown, obviously not as powerful here as it was in Street Fighter 4 because you have a lot of wake up options and. Oh, stop trying for that man! He parries it every time. Oh, oh, didn't get a full punish though. Okay, nice. What can you get? Okay. Oh, didn't get the crush counter, but still good damage here. This is chance. Can do it. Need to do the V trigger setup. Oh wow! He actually didn't get. DP that time. Why didn't he do it? use the V trigger? That's like that's the perfect moment to. That's to true. Him. I don't know. That would put a lot of pressure on Yagami. I think he has like five ways to like mix them up with the V trigger. Yeah. Oh no. He got confident after that jump landed last round. Oh nice. Okay, good stuff. Yeah. Now maybe he can get some stuff started here. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Oh, Shame that's gonna be a big load of damage. Yeah, that's it. Yagami takes it to 0. Wow. That was uh, pretty convincing. Ryu wins. He was like, damn, that was free. Yeah. And he was like, yep. This is the seventh win.
Four Should be starting losers soon. Okay, yeah, we started loser a little bit. Oh, Donkey Knife and loser from the first game. Okay. I wonder if maybe Gustav is playing Guilty Gear right now? Oh yeah, we can see it. actually he is. Okay. Uh, then where is Stefan? Is he playing too? Maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll have to wait a little bit for the match, so... Okay. Alright, Atrush yes, and Alright one. Atrush, which I consider to be the best birdie in Sweden right now. I mean, there there, there could be someone, but uh, he is the one visible birdie player. Yeah. Let's be real though, as soon as Balro comes, he's gonna switch. Yeah, pretty much. No matter uh, what. Unless they just completely mix his movements up and like removes his charge stuff. Yeah, maybe, but I think even then, odds are yeah. decent that he'd go to Balrog yeah, anyway. Atrosh picked up Balrog in 354 from day one and kept playing him until 355. Yeah. So he he, uh, he told me that he has never had to do like uppercut motions or Hadouken motions. So <laughs> learning that again, learning that with, uh, not again, just learning that overall with Birdie <laughs> was uh, a little challenge for him. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's one of the best players in Sweden right now. Hey, uh, one of the most active players in tournaments. Yeah, at least he's uh, at the end of Street Fighter Four. He finished fourth in our A League, um, so he's one of Stockholm's finest easily. Um, haven't seen him that much yet in Street Fighter Five since the game just came out, but yeah, he's just been grinding it out online at home. Yeah, he had a bit of a character crisis at the beginning of the game. Like he wasn't really sure on how, how who to play. Considered Nikali, he, he, a, he looked similar to Balrog, but he is really not. But then, if he, then he realized, oh shit, Birdie has like godlike normal. Uh, that are very similar to Balrog. Yeah, that's definitely a Balrog thing, having normals that just shut your opponent down. Yeah. Which you're gonna see him use a lot. He just loves spamming the hell out of that standing medium kick. Bashfest, the banger, shows up in the chat. <laughs> Bangfest. Bangfest confirmed. Round one. Fight. Uh, I don't even know all right one actually. <laughs> okay, they're just doing a button check. Yeah, I've never seen. Him. I think this is if he plays Ryu, then this is gonna be quite a challenge for all right, because uh, not only is uh, not only is uh, Birdie Ryu considered to be maybe 6-4 or 7-3 in Birdie's favor, uh, Atrosh has some like extra spicy take against uh, Ryu he told me today. So yeah, let's go see. That's no excuse, Bash. That said, we've seen with our very own eyes that Birdies can be beaten by Ryu's. Yes, we have Let, seen there, this. Uh, let's, I, don't, I don't think we have time to go in depth of uh, the, the, the stories. No, I think it's too long of a story. But uh, yeah. let's, let's just let's not blow people up. Let's not blow people up. Let's just uh, quickly mention that Birdie can get beaten by yeah. Ryu's twice. It is possible. <laughs> Yeah, Bashfist rage quit the tournament. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna play, so I'll let Patrick jump on commentary. Hold on. Yo, what's up? We have uh, IKEA Patrick here on the mic now. Are it just English? Yeah. Only English, boys. Me have no español. Okay, so what's going on? Up is uh, feeling feeling the ground sound, testing all right, letting him jump in for free. 
Luke's hesitant to try stuff out. I see you, Bashfest. I see you in the screenshot, Bash. Where are you at? It's Bankfest. Sorry, it's Bankfest. Bankfest. Bankfest confirmed. Sleepfest. Yeah, Sleepfest. Re where's the resident sleeper at? Can we give some resident sleeper to Bashfest? After just pressing all the buttons. Do you know who all right is? I've never seen him. I've before. never seen him. But I think I think uh, it's gonna have to play out of his mind to keep up. Yeah, he, he needs to start stop jumping and start anti-airing. Yeah. Oh, oh, after the jump. This matchup is real hard for Ryu because uh, uh, Bird has so many options. So you, can, you can use the chain pretty much full screen and grab him through the fireballs. He can do that uh, tap headbutt through the fireballs. Uh, so yeah, the zoning, the zoning up for Ryu. Ooh, Ooh, that was he's a ready. reaction. He's ready. I wonder if that was a reaction or a read or just random. I don't know. He knew it. He knew it. Okay. Ume Depe. Ume Super. Ume Super. I don't even see. What did he do? Did he just do a super? Oh, see, there we go. Activate! Yeah. Activate! Now Birdie becomes a monster. Oh, Dungeon mode. Oh, Alright, it's going okay. in. Rick Meister, I see you in the chat. I see you. My homeboy lives in Switzerland. Oh, he's dashing in Umeshorius! He's dashing in! What is this Geo Beam play? I think this is one of the apprentice guns. All right, one. Yeah, he's a friend of Gandhi. Oh, try to go for the, the, the shenanigans. Smash, you know that you see there. You can't stop a day, bro. Ah, he's yeah. he's trying too much, I think. Yeah, sure. they have, have feeling hard on me. Oh, okay, this is over. It's over. Just one more poke. Ah, nice. Deep. Oh, Let's go. Can he make something happen? No. Ah, uh, okay. One oh, Akrosh. Birdie win. Okay. This is the third win for player one. Round one. Fight. Go. See if all right we still continue with gun to play. The hard reach. It looks a bit more controlled oh, yeah. in this range. Oh, oh, he tried to go for the tap there. Ooh! Alright is looking really... Like he's looking for the, the options. Oh, see? He's reacting to everything. Alright, he, he doesn't have the neutral like Atlas yeah. has. But he's trying to compensate it with very hard reads every time. Exactly. And he's pretty much exceeding. He's... Oh, okay, that's a little bit... Didn't get two punches for it. He needs to calm down. Throw a fireball and dash in instead of just jumping yeah. and showing you for full screen. Get the offense. All right, one. Oh, oh, show you! Oh, oh. no, he so went for the open. That overhead is so cheap. It, it has such incredible range and it's pretty much completely safe on next one. Oh, uh, failing down here. Shoryu. I, 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 think, I, I think he's trying to do Shoryu, but he doesn't have the impulse, he just does a Hadouken every yeah, time. Maybe, he's feeling the pressure now. This, this is it for uh, Alright. Yeah. Looking for the crush but counter. Very. Oh, oh, he said. Okay, he's trapped, he's trapped. Oh, okay, he oh. went for it. I think this is it. Oh, yeah. uh, no pun. Yo, he's trying to make the comeback now, he's looking for it. Shoot a one fireball and dash. Watch out for the camp. Ah, oh, oh, got hit by it. Good game, so Atrosh takes it. 2-0. Pretty convincingly. Bird. Looked like Alright had something going with the reads, but uh, not enough there. Brick, who is your next match? Do you know uh, who you're playing? I'm not sure, I'm gonna check. 20th, 20th century boy. Who's that? That's is, is Josef. That Josef. Yeah. I'm playing David the Real, aka oh, the RQ Boys. Yeah, Rage I know Quid. about him. He, he has the lamest bison you'll ever yeah. see. He actually beat the uh, Mons, the Nasty. Oh, I was yeah. kind of surprised by that. I can imagine that. 
It's a uh, offline one, skum tontar. David the real, you know the Swedish RQ uh, expert. He knows exactly. all he about to, it. He, he knows all, it. all about it. Exactly. So we're still waiting to see who comes up on the uh, on stream. Come on, beat Rick, I have to say, I saw Scotland earlier play two matches. He looks the strongest easily. Yeah, you and Scotland looks the strongest in my opinion. Scotland looks very solid, very good. He knows. It's it's you now. You're playing on stream. Oh, it's me. I think you're playing on stream. Yeah. Yo. Good, good luck, man. Yo. <laughs> we'll open for commentary, then. Huh? We'll open for commentary. Uh, uh. Okay, Kan man byta sig, kan man byta kameran? Ja, så, så, ja. så fort matchen är klar så hoppa till typ mellan matcher eller ja. kommentatorer och så hoppar du tillbaks när, när matchen okay. kommer igång. I'm, I'm learning the commentary tech here. It's my first time commentating for more than like two minutes. Round one. Pretty sick. Fight! Hey! Northland is back. Northlander! I'm still in the game in the tournament. I'm not out yet. You know who you're playing next? Uh, v something. V nasty. Yeah, V nasty. Yeah, V nasty. He playing? plays Chun. Chun Li. Oh, yeah. uh, he has pretty good Chun. Uh, I can't. Yeah, it, it, it. I have problems with it. If I uh, like, I play Geef, so Geef versus Chun is pretty pretty bad for Geef unless like unless the Chun doesn't know what he's doing. But V nasty has a really good uh, Chun. It's really solid. Right. So uh, yeah. So we have Patrick versus the David the Real. Uh, the, I, I'm not gonna blow the Real up on stream, but he has some uh, he has some experience with rage quitting. Uh, I think he was the one who posted the pictures of him uh, losing all of his points, being reset back to <laughs> 500. He plays uh, Bison. That's a really lame Bison. I played him a lot online. And, uh, he this guy does nothing for. 80 or 90 seconds. Yeah. Player so one is probably. Yeah, uh man, in there. What? We can. Fight. City in chaos. Chun Li. Now, let's begin. <laughs> there we go. Bison versus Chun Li. David the Real. Change the match. Who? Oh. Save, save again. Yeah. And match. Boom. Let's do this. Round so one. Does Patrick have what it Fight. takes to beat the infamous David Shani versus Bison. It's classic. Oh, he has the anti-airs. Oh, nice confirm, nice combo. It's actually a kind of hard combo to do. Many people, many people say that all combos in SF5 are just automatic, easy mode combos. You just dial them up like Mortal Kombat, but that's not true. No, no. They're actually quite hard to do for, for some characters. Yeah, she's she's very solid, but she has like a lot of technical depth to her. So uh, Patrick has a light lead, but David Real has uh, Patrick cornered now. Just keep just keep pressuring. Fight if you want the opponent to be. I I am not sure I agree with the, the David using V reversal all the time. Oh, like V trigger is one of yeah. Uh, and he wasn't in the corner. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think David Real has to be more conservative with with uh, the V gauge. He has to save it for the V trigger because that's such a strong tool for Bison. Bison has full now. Oh, use this to hit it. Oh, holding it from their legs. Man, they didn't just slugfest. Everyone is trying to get in on each other's faces. Oh, EX Fireballs, let's go! Bison Fireballs! 
Oh, the EX fireball from Bison has such a crazy property. Low cut. Right. Man, why is Bison plus on everything he does? It's so annoying. Yeah, just, yeah, this reversal. Yeah, everything is plus. <laughs> everything is plus. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Podrick has no V trigger uh, going, so this is one bar. This is looking pretty impossible for Podrick. I don't know if Chen Li has a good way of countering that move. Like, she has no end there, so that just goes up. Maybe she can beat it in the air. Yeah, if, so, if, you, if you block the first stomp, you can probably jump and grab. Yeah. You have to be ready for that. Once Spice gets in on your face, it's really hard to get off. This is this is Spice's range. He can just he can just keep going yeah, with yeah. whatever he wants. Okay, nice. Oh, slide is just off there. They both are a little bit nervous right now. So, Patrick has the V trigger ready to go. I think he's he, he's gonna have to activate it like any time now. Oh no! The Bison is pretty good, but he hasn't got any options to open people up. He doesn't have an overhead. If he has, if he gets keep blocking, he can. Yeah, just jab him out of stuff. Yeah. You, you you need to you need to like meet him on his wake up. Like if yeah, you just, he doesn't yeah. have any wake. Up. Oh, gets no overhead. Oh, not just confirmed. Just don't fucking approach him too. Oh shit. Oh, ho, ho. Is the EX1 safe? The fire thingy? I don't know. I don't know the frames. And Bison wins. And Bison wins. <laughs> Patrick is confirmed fraud. Nah, Patrick, Patrick uh, he's still learning. It's a new game. This is uh, it's a fun guy. He talks a lot about this one. <laughs> Like he, he places he plays the supposedly strongest character in the game with Chan, so he just gets his combos going and uh, you know learn learns to end there a bit more than uh, he's gonna be real strong. So he needs to stop that. That is just free get ins for Bison. He can't let Bison do that. Lightning leg. It's so important to stop Bison from jumping and just kind of dashing in on you. Yeah. Can he get some great on the air, so. Patrick is looking kinda... I don't know, frustrated? He can't get any hits in. Oh, that was my... What? Can he? Oh, he can't. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it's odd. Oh. Match point. Maybe the real. Maybe the real. Maybe the real. Patrick is not do doing a lot of fireballs. He's just like walking full screen and trying to get ahead of him. The part though is Uh, this is looking kind of hopeless for Patrick. Like he can't. He's just trying to hit him. Like he, I think he needs to just whoop, stay full screen more and punish a lot. Uh, punish a lot. We go anti air. You want the stupid four round? Yeah. This it's like better in this game. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Combo. Bad punish. Oh, can he do it? Oh, try to shimmy. 
one one attack from up there. Ooh! Shit! Oh, just so in him, just super cool. Oh no, it's not! One hit. Ooh! Oh, nice! Nice. That was good composure from Puffick. Fight. See, so he just he just needs to react more to to the to the. There we go. Can he get out of the corner? He needs to be ready for the dash. Oh, okay. earlier, needs to be like jabbing. Yeah, exactly. Preemptive jabbing. Oh, what? Nice. What? What is going on? <laughs> he has no idea what is. Psycho power. That's good. All right. Life lead. Save it. Oh. A lot of heads on. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. David takes it. Patrick just couldn't uh, couldn't really adapt. Couldn't get the zoning going. This is you need to play aggressive as fuck when you play. So you need yeah. to be in the face. You just need to be ready All for Bison's uh, bullcrap. Throw Her throw is godlike. Bison can't really do much unless he just gets in on you for free. Like, at uh, full screen, he can't do anything. He can just stay there and build meter. <laughs> Patrick is feeling the salt. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes. So, looks like we have Bubblan ready to play. Uh, let's see. Bracket. A, B. Uh, it's uh, Leo. Is it? Uh, but, 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 no. What no, was uh, I'm not. Is he, is he, uh, is he maybe on losers? AB7. Something AB. Not being losers. No? Where is he? So, get the number to us then. Bubblan is the AB Queen. Yeah. He's seen it on the stats. I'm so confused right now. Is it possible to stop? Round one. Fight! Staffan, what's the name of Bubblan? Pedram AB7. Pedram AB7. Winner! But we have to go and box. Oh, no, no, yeah. Alright, Jet Main. Jet Main. So, yeah. Uh, I played him. I played him uh, in the pre-release tournament. So he plays Karin. He plays a lot of characters. He plays yeah. Nash. He plays Karin. I think he plays some other characters too. Uh, he played Karin uh, lately in uh, a tournament we had at uh, Dragon Slayer. Yep, pretty much. There's no girls here. Fight. Yeah, Brick's girlfriend is here. Yeah. Sausages, sausages everywhere. <laughs> so I don't know anything about Jetamania, how he plays, how good he is. I know Bublan is legit, like everyone should know Bublan. He's uh, OG in the scene. Yeah, he's a good player. But he picks his games. He likes those. Yeah, exactly. He has real he good, solid fun in Karin is real, uh, like, I, I thought she was all about the gimmick at first, but then I realized like she, she, she's actually, she has excellent footsies and uh, really good confirms from uh, uh, her low forward and stuff like that. 
need to play your kind of game play, I feel. Like. Looks like, uh, I don't think, I don't know if Goblin has any good experience against Kami, because he looks like he's kind of like clueless here what to do. He's just tough feeling his ground. Reaction from Jedi Mania. Could have finished with Super, maybe. Sure. Oh, the excellent reactions. Just anti airing everything. That's not straight, right? Yeah, exactly. Good punish from Jedi Mania. This is really strong here. Yeah. Jedi Mania uppercut every time. Doesn't really look like Boblon. Like. Doesn't his foot is looking are looking really weak right now. He's just standing there, like trying to figure out what to do. This is mind game. Round one. <laughs> Fight. Okay, let's see. Up the again. Keeps jumping. Damn, this is looking really strong for the mania. Another one. Up the Oh, nice. maximum combo. Okay, this is like Boblin needs to just step it up now. Yeah, he's getting exposed hardcore. Tries to get the Twitch game going, but oh, okay, nice and perfect. Genomania is just ready for everything. Yeah. Takes no crap. Both oh, players are trying to win punish stuff. This is scary for Cardian. Oh. oh. He stopped jumping at least. Oh, the unsafe stuff. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, he can't punish that. How much should activate the big trigger? Yeah, exactly. You need to get the, the oh, infinite no, build. The <laughs> I think. I think. Yeah, he played this game. Uh, random super? Random? No, he waited. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, good stuff to Genomania. I have I have never seen him play uh, 35, but damn, that looks really strong. Or maybe it was just Bobla that didn't know it. They didn't have any clue what to do. Not sure. Real life talk in chat. 11th win for player two. Good conversation. Pack it up. Hey, and some accusations. Oh, looks like I'm up. Now we're gonna see Brick on the stream. Sub stream man! Det här är your boy, Luff, Tier, God! De vill att vi ska snacka engelska. Ja, ja. Vi hoppar in. Ja, nej, fy fan. Det är jag som är på micken nu, bror. Jag svek chatten. Jag svek RQ. Jag har inte rädd där alltså. Jag förlorade mot RQ. Du gjorde det? Ja. Du är så jävla dålig! Vad är det här? Jag skulle rädda stan. Alltså, den här musen. Rädda, rädda stan från svenska Bushin-style. Ja. <laughs> <laughs> Okej, okay, vi har brick. <laughs> Okej, okay, så so vi har Brick här. Vem, vem är den andra killen? Nej, han... Uh, Josef. De sa Northlander va? Bye. Ja, ah, de sa Northlander. Ja, ah, jag hoppar in. Nu får jag kolla på det där, för jag har fan ingen aning om hur man har en 
inte jag heller. Vart är chatten? Jag skiter i det här. Ja, ja. Det jag också. Jo, chatten. Hej. Vi har Majin. Som är third wheeler. Alltså... Hatet är för hård. Okej. Okay. So we got Brick versus Joseph up here. Joseph, he's the boy. Like, I, I think he's like ten years old or something. He is. Yeah, but he's been at Light Dash like all his life. Oh man. And he's a master jiu jitsu in real life, like black belt, high kick, low kick. He tried to play first strike, but he sucks at that. <laughs> so now, well, then he tried to play guilty again, but he's pretty decent though. Okay, so we got a 10 year old versus uh, Brick here. Brick. Brick, Brick aka Mr. Wall. Yeah. Brick Kubat. He's an he's, uh, O9er, online monster. He's like playing the game like 20,000 hours Steam Edition since day one. Brick is also known as the one Gaijin in that uh, early Street Fighter V tournament hosted by. Um, uh, who was it? What's, what, what are they called again? Ubiquen, that's it. Yeah, he got top 8 there. That was insane, man. So yeah, he's a Baka Gaijin. <laughs> what? Yusef is trying to go with the Rashid bullshit. No, no one really knows how to play against Rashid, so he's always... He's going to put himself a plus a plus and he goes with some shenanigans. Yo, it's working, dude! It's working, it's working fine. Okay, match. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I have no idea how to do this. Oh fuck yeah! Okay, I'm the best. Okay, so now we're seeing the game here. Yeah, oh, I'll let. Yeah, <laughs> Patrick, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Hey guys, Majin back here. I'm gonna fix everything. Don't worry. Um, first the names. We got Brick and 20th Century and Brick. Boy, right? 20th Century Boy. Don't worry guys, I'm eliminated now, so I'll be here all day. My boy. Uh, okay, so this is the first match, right? Yeah, this is the first game. Okay. So it's 1-1 uh, one, one in rounds right now, and uh, it seems like uh, 20th Century Boy is trying to like out-gimmick Brick here. And uh, it worked out the first round, but I think Brick has got the download now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Rashid is that kind of character. You can really steal from people. Because there's one thing that I never understand with Rashid is that they say in the frame data that his spinning mixer is minus. But I've never been in a situation where he doesn't press a button afterwards and win. But you only play online, dude. Yeah, you, can't, you can't do sure, shit online. Still, Come on, man. It's messed that, up. That fucking man. sucks. Online fucking sucks. I'm, I'm, I'm saved by offline Street Fighter, man. True. Oh, and good nice. shit. Good stuff from Brick. Takes the first game. Brick with the cheap shit? God damn. They were speaking Euro Trash. What's Euro Trash? I mean, like in this particular instance, what was the Euro Trash they were speaking? This is the yeah, I think it's minus two, but it doesn't feel like it. He always presses a jab afterwards and still he wins. But yeah, probably because I play online, but like, you kind of have to, you know? But yeah, fighting games are not meant to be played online, <laughs> even though you kind of have to in this day and age. Uh, I hate it. Not up Are you still in? What? Are you still in? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm still yeah. in. I'm too old. Oh, nice. So you're still in winners. Yeah, nice. somehow. I'm playing. I'm playing uh, Yagami next. Let, let's see who you're playing. Uh, are you Buttbuster? Yeah, I'm Buttbuster. Yeah, Yagami, gay, dude. That'll be a match. Holy shit. Yeah. Probably on speed. I'm out now. Uh, I went to two. Uh, lost against Kefi. Losers. That's not a surprise. Oh, good juggle. Oh, oh nice. the reset! Can be done too? God damn. No, not quite. Oh, oh that was, that was <laughs> sick! What a heartbreak Oh, Swedish, yeah. You can't speak Swedish on commentary, come on now. Are you guys really doing that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, that's weak. I've, I've set a certain standard here. <laughs> so when people come on, they expect people to at least try and follow my example. Oh, and Brick is trying to squeeze one out. Good stuff. Oh, nice. Gets the SPD. What's he got afterwards? Nothing. Yo, everyone is losing to David the Frog. That's because the game is new, dude. Oh, is he still in winners? Yeah. Wow. Somehow. <laughs> oh, good call. Oh, 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 o
Yo, 20th century Good boy! Stuff here from 20th century boy. Oh, come on. Oh, get to be oh no, so much damage. Breaking trouble here. Oh, he goes for the super and it's gonna hit. No, really? Oh, oh, he must have jumped before. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was not, yeah, prepared. I was not prepared for that. I thought he was gonna eat it clean. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. He's the best. Wow. He's the okay. Best. So, good stuff Jeez. here from Joseph. You can see he's, he's really focused right now. Man, I really like that he's playing Rashid, honestly. That's, that's such a nice pick. Round one. He's looking angry, dude. He's like, who's this fraud next to me playing Geek? Yeah. Oh, man, this is, this is Brick. He's the top seed. He's like, he's currently seen as Stockholm's best player. Until 20th Result century boy otherwise. doesn't care about seeds, man. He doesn't give a shit. Okay, good stuff from Brick. Trying to move in. Oh, nice B trigger. And gets the juggle afterwards. Man, 20th century boy's been doing his homework. Yeah, holy Oh my god, Brick. He's in such trouble. Bashfest getting hype in the chat. Sorry, Bangfest. Oh, nice. That was sick. Great reaction from Brick. Yeah, he was he waiting for it. And that takes the round. Brick is on match point. Yeah, Brick's gone serious mode, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, that nice. was nice. I didn't think I was going to reach there, but okay. Oh. <laughs> Man, Throwing it's so in. scary for both sides when you do an SPD. You never know what's gonna happen. I think Break is going insane now. Oh, nice. Good out there. And the EX SPD, lots of damage here. Yeah, man. He's what can he get insane. afterwards? Okay, V trigger from 20 Century Boy gets the full juggle. No, not quite. He was in the corner, so he couldn't follow up there. Oh, didn't reach. Close. I'm sad, we okay. aren't seeing any crush counters here from 20th Century Boy. He has some good crush counter normals. You know? Yeah, oh nice. Brick oh, throws it out. 2-1 break. There we go. Good stuff from both of these players. We're gonna fill it in. Brick, Brick managed to scrub him out. That was sick. Good <laughs> stuff from Brick. He scrubbed him out, huh? Yeah, man. Alright, good stuff from Brick. We got a lot of good matches coming up here in the winner's bracket, actually. So, David the Real. Let's do a little discussion here. Uh, a lot, a lot of people, they're they're hating on him. Yeah. I've met David the Real online, or sorry, I've seen David the Real online when Skatten is playing and when Bubblin is playing and when myself is playing. Yeah, he, he yeah. rage quit against me, dude. That's the thing. All of these three people, myself, Bubblin, and Skatten have beaten him. Yeah. And he didn't rage quit one time because I think he learned after he got his stuff reset. No, no, no. The thing was, okay. So, David the Real is a rat. Okay. We got we got we got to keep it real. He's a rat He's because a rat. what he did was he rage quit against everyone that wasn't from the Swedish scene so he wouldn't get confronted ever. Okay. So that's what he did. Okay. And you don't rock a Swedish flag, right? No, I rock the Norwegian flag. That's right. why he rage quit against me. I rock the Norwegian flag because when I tried to press Sweden the, the game just wouldn't allow me. It said, unable to choose this country. I don't know. I, I think it's because they know my passport or something. But, okay. So David the Real sucks. He sucks. He sucks. We got that good. Okay, so he, he's absolute garbage. David the Real, you suck, homie. Okay. Garbage. So you want to do a money match in a while? Because I want to see that. Today? I'm, like, fucking, I'm fucking broke, dude. Oh. That sucks. I'm, I'm getting my paycheck. Well, like, like with everyone calling him out, I want to see some. I, I want to see some money matches and shit. Yeah, dude, I, I, I'd love to money match him, but I honestly don't have the cash right now. I'm, I'm a broke dude, trying to, um, trying to get some paper in the real world, man. Yeah, eventually it'll happen. Yeah, got to keep it real. <coughs> this hustle, dude. All right, so this is Web Holland Master Series Stockholm Showdown, the monthly uh, Street Fighter Five and Guilty Gear Xrd. My hair is doing some crazy shit right and I'm now. I'm looking good. Yeah, you're looking good, but my hair is like going nuts. <laughs> I gotta fix the headset. So, this is Loof, Tear, God, and Majin. Yes, this is Event Ups, Majin, and Tenshinan. The Laura players. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're probably the only Laura players here, I think. Yeah, you're doing better than me, though. <laughs> yeah. I lucked out, dude. I really did. 
I got yeah. to play. I got. I got to play against my actual brother, uh, in my second match. <laughs> my actual wow. brother. I played him so much, and I wow. know all he does is just go insane. I actually, out, I, I, I screwed myself over the first match. But the thing is, I, it doesn't bother me that much because the second match would have been against Yagami, and like you're not never supposed to give up. You're supposed to believe in yourself. But that would have been free. Free for him? Yeah. No, dude. Free for you. Uh, You're better than Yagami. I'll, 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 I'll body Yagami on stream right now, dude. <laughs> I'll body him on stream. He doesn't right. know shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so I kept going in losers. I met Kefi. I lost Kefi. Eh, I, don't, I don't really mind. Um, how about that interview with David the Real? What am I even supposed to ask him? Like, <laughs> what do you think about rage quitting? Why aren't you here interviewing him? God damn it, Bashfest. Why you gotta eat two fucking family pizzas and go to bed instead of coming here? Wait, wait did Bash do that? I, it's it's like an in-joke because he says that one time he did that and most of us do not believe it. Oh yeah, I, I don't believe two it Two family pizzas, I don't I don't believe it. Like Bashfest is a big guy, he's tall, he, he looks like he can kill you with just a stare, but <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't... Uh, two family pizzas, dude? Two family pieces? I, I, I don't believe that shit, yo. Uh, but yeah, actually, talking about interviews and event ups and stuff, I actually do have an interview with Poppy coming up. Probably. Oh, dude. Next week or the week after. And uh, if Scotton does well at final round and hype spotting, I'm going to do one with him as well. Good stuff. Poppy is such a cool guy. He called me out. He called, he called me uh, a P12. P12? Yeah, he did. Because, <laughs> because I confronted Fugelström. Uh -huh. I confronted Fugelstrom and called him uh, garbage at the game, right? And I, s I told him that he shouldn't show his face at locals wow. uh, because he's a fraud, right? Oh, we got both of the Scotland going on. Nobody told me this match was starting. Uh, and again, we can't actually see the uh, stream from here. This should be right. Oh, that, that was the commentary part. Uh, all right, let me fix this. There we go. And Scotland. But this should be the first match though. Oh, it's that. on? There we go. Uh, let me fix everything up for you guys. Yeah, so you were saying, Fogelstrom, you called him out. Yeah, I called him out, I told him it was shit at the game, and he just tried to be passive aggressive, just like every other Rage Queen, you know? They all, they all go passive aggressive. The Swedish way. Out. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's disgusting. So you got called a P12 by Poppy. Yeah, because I started a witch hunt in the Guilty Gear scene. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh man, that was amazing. Alright, cool. So, uh, Bublin playing Karen and Scott and Chun Li. Uh, the thing about Bublin in this game is he hasn't really stuck to a character yet. He's been playing around with all kinds of different characters. Trying to find, like, because his philosophy with a new game is he tries the whole cast, he plays them a bit, like, enough to get a good feel for them so he knows what the general game plan for this character is because that way he can actually counter them better later yeah he's oh nice no didn't reach but he's i think actually come to the conclusion now that karen isn't that good he feels but he hasn't put enough time into some other characters that it, they're at the same level as his karen yeah so he kind of has to play karen right now even though he doesn't really want to but I, I, I can also say one thing about Bublan, and that is, uh, there is no one who's better at learning a character and learning a new game than him. No, he's, he's the he's best at it. Quickest. He's yeah. really good at uh, adapting to new games and new characters and everything. I mean, even in the games that he was super serious in, uh, King of Fighters 13 and uh, Ultimate Orders Capcom 3, where he got top 32 of both titles at EVO, um, he played so many different characters. Like, way more than you saw in tournaments. Yeah. He played at least half the cast in both of those games. And he's gonna be doing that here as well, probably. But he needs to find some character to have as a main. Because right now he has Karen, and he is not happy about it. He, do he doesn't want to have Karen, because that's the main problem right there. Her throw. She is plus three. And they fly right across the screen. She can do nothing as a follow-up. And at the back throw, she's minus. Yeah, she's mine. Oh, oh, you get to move before she does after a back throw. So That's Bablan, he really doesn't like where he ends up after throwing someone in the uh, Karen. But that's like Cami Ultra too. Oh, that's 
fun. I I, I love watching Call of Duty. Yeah. Uh, Skaton been go grinding hard on his stream, uh, trying to reach platinum. Not quite there yet, but he's very close. Nice touch from Skaton. Falcon cut in the corner, but he gets out. Good damage. Goes with the pose. Okay, gets the crush counter. He gets the not so great throw. Good use of the V-reversal. He's got that now in the corner, but can Bob do anything to keep it up? Mm, good jabs. Really good jabs. That's it. Oh, oh that's amazing. Reversal. Good job on calling that with the EX spinning bird. Because that's such a risky option to do. But he knew Bubblin's gonna go for throw, he's gonna go for like whatever here. I can finish it here. Oh, nice. Sick. Yeah, oh, that's sick. Just not I love uh, when uh, jump players get those in front. Except when I'm playing against them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good oh, stuff here. Bubblin going in. It's not over by a long shot, even though Scotland's at match point. Oh no. Karen has the V trigger. This is so scary. I hate when Karen has V trigger. Anything can happen. She can just do whatever she wants. Do what you want. Do what you want. Okay. Scotland moves in. Oh. oh, that was a sick sweep. Oh, gets a throw and that's it. Bubblin takes a round. Final round. He's holding his own in the Fine. neutral game. Absolutely. He's doing great. Yeah, Bubblin definitely knows what buttons he's allowed to press. And uh, Skaton hasn't been studying that enough because uh, Bubblin actually labbed out that uh, you can get a clean punish on the Karen sweep at all ranges. Because her hurt box is extended, like the sweep is, for four frames. So if you do a four frame move into something, like Laura can do standing LK, like elbow LK, when, no matter what the range is, if you do it quick enough. Because her hardbox will be as far as her speed for 4 frames. Very good stuff here from Bubblin, he takes the round. And it's 1-1. I honestly, I, I, if Bubblin wins this, I wouldn't even call it an upset because he's, he's great. Yeah. No, th this isn't an upset either way because both they, they've players. both been top players play in uh, several one. games here in Sweden. Bubblin was, uh, I mean, he did play Street Fighter 4 for a while, but he's most known for King of Fighters 13, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Street Fighter 4 Tekken. While Skatan was uh, a top player in uh, Street Fighter 4 and Pro Tekken as well. The chat doesn't hate me, come on, I keep it real. I hope the chat doesn't hate you because I love you, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good stuff here from Bubblin, definitely using the right buttons at the right ranges. Uh, Karen's uh, crouching and standing minion kicks are amazing buttons. Uh, also making use of the fact that uh, Skaton hasn't actually been punishing the sweep, as I was saying earlier, it's possible. Yeah. Um, I don't think Skaton's actually tried that out in training mode. He knows that it works, because we told him. But I don't think he's actually tried it out, so he's not sure like what the timing is exactly. It, it's a difficult button to punish though. It is, but once you know it... Oh, nice. This should be it. Yeah, that's nice. Bubblon on match point. Yeah, like, go into training mode against Karen. Uh, do the sweep. Doesn't matter what range you're at. Do the standing LK elbow and try to learn that at max range because you have to do it quick. Yeah. Four frames. Once you do that, you shouldn't have any trouble in this matchup anymore. You can, you can just... Yeah, at least not that action. much trouble. Uh, and actually, even if you feel that's too difficult, you will always get a EX elbow. Yeah. Because it's fast enough. If you have meter. Okay, so Bublon is actually having... Bublon's oh, doing his really speed. well here. God damn. What a player. He's gotten in a bit of trouble, but he's not out. As long as Chun has V-Trigger, she's never out, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, no. Is it? Oh, this is so rough right now. Anything will do it. Is this loose? Oh, nice. He gets some good damage here. And that's almost full bar. He can definitely close this out if he... Oh! Okay. Wow. Oh! Okay, that was nice. Good. Got them moving in. Can he do this? So close right now. Oh, oh gets good reversal. reversal. Now, Goblin gets game. the throw. Was that losers? Was that losers? No, that has to be winners. I'd be very surprised if that was losers.
I can't imagine who they would have... No, it was winners. Okay, it was winners. No, uh, no, that's... Is that... Yeah, that's... Never mind. You're in winners, right? Yeah. And I'm you're there. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Bublin takes it. Bublin moves on to winners semifinals, where he'll meet the winner of you and Yagami. Oh, yeah. So okay, me. you're up. All right. Let's go. Bob uh, Buster said moving off the signing out. commentary. I'll bring someone else in for you guys, but for now, you'll have to make do with just me, but soon we'll have someone else partaking. Oof. Uh, Guilty Gear. Is it over? It's not over. They're playing grand finals now. Um, unfortunately, uh, not uh, being streamed because we had so many entrants in Street Fighter V. There you have the Guilty Gear bracket. Uh, so it says that Grand Finals aren't over. So I guess they haven't started them yet? Maybe they have? Uh, okay, so next up we have Yagami and Luffy. Steph. Saw, saw you. Do you know what you want? David, the real interview. Like for what? I don't, what would I even ask him? I don't get it. Bra skit. Vill kommentera? Vill kommentera? Uh, på engelska då, bara. Okay, so we're gonna have Boblon on commentary actually. So, uh, good stuff to you guys if you understand what he's saying, because half the time I don't. No. Okay, so we got Boblon who just defeated Skatan on stream. Yeah, boy. Uh, you can see him here with the gorgeous mustache. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we're gonna have uh, Yagami versus Luffy here. Actually, you're meeting the winner of this. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it's gonna be Ryu or Laura probably, uh, because yeah, I don't think either of these guys plays a second character. All right. Uh, so I don't know the guy uh, on the right. Who is he? Um, he's a guy from Uppsala. He played Cody in Street Fighter 4, and he came here to our tournaments and started bodying people, and it was pretty fun. Right. And now he now he plays. He's just like me because now he plays Laura. Mm. Uh, <laughs> right, so first Cody, then Laura. Yeah. All right. I don't know how that transition happens because it's it was kind of weird that I did that, and then he did that too. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Bash or Boob? Really fun. Uh, <laughs> you're you're Thank an you. icon. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Laura and Cody, they are like nowhere similar. No, I know. There's nothing similar about them. So I don't know how that happened at all. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, I'm playing Laura now. But when Alex comes, you know, yeah, probably Alex not uh, as much. really thick. Hmm? I like... Uh, he still has the eyeshadow. I love it. Yeah. So the bandana yeah, shades his eye. Really cool. I, I like everything about Alex oh. in the Thank you, Alpos. The only thing I don't <laughs> like is uh, them getting rid of the uh, stump. Yeah, I like the stomp. It's a fun gimmick. Yeah, I know. They should have like kept it, but made it like unsafe or something. Yeah, like uh, the copper's. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Stomp in uh, ultra. Yeah, that would be a good good move. But I guess they figured like but, uh, without parry, it was kind of yeah. weird. But, but I, I am kind of excited about the headbutt, the old uh, back fears, the yeah. special. Yeah, but they, uh, it's like a mini stun gun headbutt. That's really cool. Yeah, I know. It jumps forward. <laughs> yeah, no, the Danish pretty headbutt pretty is really sick. I'd I'm not saying that, Bash, but you know, obviously I'll be playing Alex because he's my he's my boy, he's my dude. Yeah. But I'll probably still be playing Laura and Cami as well. We'll see how much I play. I don't know. By the way, we got a lot of viewers. Hmm. We got a lot of viewers here. A lot of uh, viewers. Viewers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we do have a lot of viewers. I guess people are hyped for Street Fighter Five. Alright, so moving into the match, we got Luffy and Yagami, Laura vs. Ryu. Yes, I got them on the right side this time. I think that uh, Leo could uh, lose this. Just you think so? Just I don't, he I don't know think Laura. he knows Laura. Oh, uh, yeah. He has could kind be. of know her to be there. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, we'll see. Anything can happen right here. Yagami really good with the uh, footsie game and yeah, definitely knows, like, he knows Ryu. But he doesn't know every character he's up against. 
So we'll see how well Luffy does here. I personally think this is a pretty rough matchup for Laura, but yeah. But it's gonna be really tough for Laura until she gets uh, the next tackle. Yeah, but it's difficult to get in, that's the problem. Oh, wow. What a risky parry! He could have done command right there. Yep. Oof, they have so much grey life. It's all oh, wow. And here comes the stun. You got Perfect. me. Perfect. Yep. Making very quick work of Luffy in the first round. Okay. Oh, didn't get it. You got me just dominating. Yeah, he the really neutral. likes to go for that throw, throw, and then crouching MK Hadouken. He does that several times, like yeah. in that exact sequence. Yeah, it keeps working, so okay, why not? Uh, Luffy, he can't breathe. Ah, uh, Luffy looks pretty free right now. Oh, double P? Looks like it, yeah. Oh, oh he messed it up. Choked! <laughs> but what can Luffy do? People are really hype about that uh, Miss Perfect. Either that or something happened in Guilty Gear, but I think it's Miss Perfect. <laughs> Good stuff from Yagami. Let's uh, see the salt cam for a second. I think Luffy has to play a bit slower. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit... Look, he's he's not even thinking about what went wrong. He's, he's got yeah, to get happy. buffed. Round one. But he's got to get buffed hard. He really should be like uh, contemplating his loss. Yeah. Okay, okay uh, he's, he's slowing it down a little bit now. Oh, nice, good first uh, counter doesn't reach. He should have done the medium elbow because that will always reach. But I messed up. Oh, cool. Yeah, after first counter, no matter the range, you will always get a medium elbow. Nice. Oh man, Luffy in big trouble here. Okay. Oh, doesn't go for the cross counter, but gets a good yeah. combo anyway. That's the, the thing I got through you is that uh, his uh, Hado, while really, really good, yeah. doesn't uh, chip all that much. Mm. So you can afford to play a slow game for um, for a while yeah. until it adds up. It adds up. Oh no, he's in the corner. Oh my god. Ah. Nice up there. Okay, this is pretty rough right now. Okay. It's in. Nice. Get the target combo. Get the full V trigger cancel combo. Oh, he gets oh. crossed. Oh. Doesn't get the follow up. That could have been it. That was his moment. He could. He could have finished it there. Oh no. Luffy, please. Please. Luffy, please. Please. Wow. Okay. Oh well. At least he's woken up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think that they had to uh, play the bulldog side a lot. Like walk in a block. Walk in a block. Be patient. Yeah. Oh. God. Oh. Gets the sure you. Oh no. Luffy in the corner. That nah. didn't hit though. All that meter. Yeah. Good combo from Luffy and yeah, gets in the corner. Yeah, in those cases with Ryu, always go for crouching meter punch. Okay. It has a lot more hit stun, so it's more likely oh, okay. to connect. Yeah. Nice. But still, Yagami's at an advantage. And gets to show you. Close okay. The stun. Actually, takes the throw this time. Okay, oh. nice. Oh, didn't get follow up. Just raw V trigger cancel. He wants to make something happen, but I don't know what he can do. Oh my god. Oh no! No. Megami takes it too off. I noticed. He didn't do one EX tackle, I think. I think he did one. One. You I think he wins. did one. Yeah, he doesn't do it as much. Oh shit. Because that is her answer against the fireball, so. Okay, so you'll be going up against Yagami in a bit. Alright. Atros and David the Real. This I hope that's on screen. Second win for player two. Yes. Wait. Okay, guys, you're getting David the Real on stream after all. All right, who does he play? Uh, you actually beat him like four times at my place oh. uh, online. Uh, okay. He plays Bison. All right. Uh, Foon Hoyden. Do you remember? Oh, that yeah. guy. Yeah. See, <laughs> swag. <laughs> Luffy uh, tries to shoot himself. Hmm? He tries to shoot himself. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so David, David Real and Atrush. So this is going to be Bison Birdie, most likely. I don't think I've ever seen this matchup, so... Uh, no! I, yeah, I saw it in Cam, oh, obviously, because Phantom plays Fight. Bison and uh, yeah, two birdies from there. Oh yeah, the, the team kill. Yeah, but that was the thing. In tournament, he played Nikali against them. Because he thinks Nikali is better than Bison against Birdie. Okay, okay. But in I can see casuals, that. I saw him play Bison against. Yeah, I can see that. So, yeah. 
Um, I don't think either of them have a second character, so this is almost certainly going to be Bison and uh, Birdie. What are you going to do against uh, Yagami? Uh, Karin? No. <laughs> no way. No, no way. way. <laughs> that one is too, too rough. Go Fang. <laughs> Uh, no, I think uh, Cammy or Nash. Cammy or Nash. I think right. both are uh, strong against Ryu. I think Nash is the biggest crowd pleaser with you. Uh, one more time. I think Nash is the biggest crowd pleaser he for is? you. Out of your characters, I think that's the one the crowd gets happiest about. Nash? I don't know. Last time I was here, people were like booing my Nash. People ask for your Nash in the chat and stuff when, I, when, I, when I'm in tournaments. Alright, but the thing is, I haven't played uh, Nash a lot since uh, the game came out, so... Alright. I've been uh, playing around with like Karin, Cammy. Fang. They're saying Cammy. Uh, Cammy's good. Fight. No, fuck Nash. Okay. Crowd of spoken. Makidota. Right. Did you see the Cammy tech I posted yesterday on uh, Metal? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that was. It was obvious that kind of that stuff existed, yeah, sure. but uh, uh, like the standing frames after uh, getting up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually didn't know that, but anyway. Now you know. I don't know if it'll help, but now you know. Alright, so about, ab about the match? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, David Real starts off really strong. Atrosh is crazy, though. Uh, maybe Atrosh doesn't it's know Bison that well. I don't know. It seems like it, because it seems he goes in too hard. Yeah, I could imagine that Birdie probably wins this match if played correctly, but... You know. I'm not oh. sure, but... Oh, nice. Good stuff. Shit, David Real going in hard here. The thing is that... The thing is that Birdie has to check the dashes. Oh Alright, so Patrick is gonna throw a chair when he loses. It's gonna be All real right. hype. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> okay, so off stream Patrick lost against Pippi and threw a chair in the in the wall. Good to know. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice hand there. Alright. But Atrash oh. definitely making the comeback happen here. Can he do it all the way? Oh, so close right now. Ah. Goes for the exchange, doesn't quite get it. Oh, gets oh, it! Nice! Atrosh makes the full comeback. I David the real uh, looking kind of fake right now. I think that Atrosh would uh, get. Uh, he would do a lot better if he checks the dashes with uh, Birdie standing like it. Exactly, yeah. You need to learn that against Bison. You need yeah. to learn seeing the dashes and punishing them late. Yeah, because, because uh, Bison slash it looks really fast, but yeah. uh, it's he actually one of the slowest in the game. When he materializes, I guess. It's actually like. Maybe like second slower. It's really yeah. slow actually. But good. it looks really fast. I gotta tell Atros that after this match. Or maybe you can, because I'm probably gonna be sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> but Birdie, uh, you have to keep ready with the light kick. Yeah. Okay, really good fast. anti-air and get some command pro. Okay, Atros definitely making this second round look oh, world in. different. What's gonna happen? Oh! Nice break. Goes for the cross up, doesn't quite get it. Oh. oh. Good stuff. What's that? Uh, that V trigger is so bullshit. <laughs> he just disappears. Oh. And everything feels safe. But uh, right now, uh, Arthur is in a really good spot. He is. Because he has he a has super and uh, David doesn't have the V trigger to exactly. do the reversal. He has full so meter, full V trigger, and he's yeah, ahead. Super. Oh no. That, yeah, that was it. That was it. Super. Why didn't he do that? That's maybe weird. he just doesn't realize. Oh. Yeah, I mean. Nice. Okay, so Arthur takes the first game anyway. Good stuff. It's uh, one of my favorites in this game that uh, V trigger. Like, if you're really low on health and the other guy has super, you're really putting yourself in a worse spot by activating, activating it. Fight! Mm. Because uh, stopping chip damage is it's gonna be it's gonna be really tough. Yeah. Okay, Atro is nice. looking a bit Oh no, drop the combos. Still not Still, uh, the dash. Looks for the dash. I think he probably doesn't hasn't played enough against Bison to realize just how, how, how viable Also could be Oh, really nice. nice. <laughs> but it uh, could just be a uh, tournament nurse, who knows? Yeah. yeah, it could be. Nice okay, combo. Okay, good damage. Rose out banana. Banana! Oh, yes. <laughs> Dolphin <laughs> dice! That's the unbuckle. <laughs> 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 what a read! Man, I gotta see the faces after that one. <laughs> oh shit, he's <laughs> triggered. <laughs> he's like, oh my god! <laughs> wow. Right? Okay. Good patience. What can I just do here? 
Uh, it's good block. It's good blocks, but uh, he needs to capitalize on the dashes. Yeah. Good to count. Uh, even if he doesn't get a punish, he can still uh, reverse the pressure. Mm. Oh! Oh no! V nasty is here, but I think he's out. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, who? V nasty. He used to play Super Scroll and stuff in Marvel. All right. Um, let me link the challenge for you guys. Oh. There you go. Gonna stay here. Right now, Bird can kill with everything. It's super. Yeah. Still super. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, headbutt. It's gonna kill. So it's a happens. really good spot for him. Yeah. And yes, he can. <laughs> oh. Oh man, so scary. Oh. Ooh. Right. Okay. Right now, David he is can... in a really bad spot because he, he can't use the V trigger. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Oh no, didn't get anything afterwards. Atrush staying very passive while the V-Trigger yeah. is active. Activate. Activates his own V-Trigger. Nice. Oh! Oh, yeah. Anything into Super now. Is, yeah. Uh, oh, nice! Gets work too. with the armor. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, okay, cool. So, right, so it's uh, Atrush versus uh, Brick in the winner exactly. semi. Exactly. The winner's semis are going to be Atrush versus Brick and you, our beloved Bublin, against uh, Yagami. Alright. Yeah, it looks like it's you now. Alright, cool. Okay, so winner semi is coming up on stream now, and it's gonna be Bablon versus uh, right. Yagami. Lady guys, wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck, man. Let's see if I can get Luffy back here, maybe. Actually, he's in losers. Maybe he's playing. Yeah, we're in top 16 right now. Uh, Vinasty actually is still in. He's playing against Yor. Uh, that's like. Steph, uh, can you get a glass of water, Thank you. Okay, so Luffe coming back here. <laughs> so you're gonna go up against the winner of Gr Gran and Dysphorie later. Kill me. <laughs> Who's Gran? No idea. Uh, okay. Are they playing now? Oh, they're playing now, right there. Yeah. But I can't see him from here. No, I can't see him either. He's playing Birdie though. So you're gonna meet Birdie or Ken. Well, that's better than Rudy. Oh, damn, that parry. Yeah. The chat, we're going in on you. Yeah, I... I, I I can imagine. I have a lot of haters. No, they like you, I think. Fight. They make me famous. I think they like you. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Here we go. Sup, homies. I'm sorry for looking like shit, guys. I didn't have any time to shave this morning, so... <laughs> I'm not my usual cute, cuddly self. Hey, man. It's the, it's the Street Fighter neckbeard. I guess. It's obligatory. When you, when you go into tournaments, you don't shower, you don't do anything, you just look like a hobo and you just go in and kick some ass. I do have the hobo look down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, except for the silky smooth hair, of course. Bro, shit, Atra! Atra! God damn it. Atra is totally ignoring me. He's Hollywood now. He got, to, he got to win the semis, so he doesn't care anymore. Hey, dude, shout out to Atrosh for exposing uh, David a the real? certain person. David the fake? Yeah. David the free. Oh, shit. I don't know how he manages to like get so far, but it's because Round he's one. insane, you know? He's crazy. Right. Okay, so Bubblin going Kami against Yagami for you. I haven't actually seen Bubblin play Kami. I know he likes her quite a bit. And he's shown me some tech with her, because she's my sub in this game. Yeah. Um... But I haven't seen him actually like play matches with her, so we'll see. He was talking up Yagami's Ryu yesterday. Like we get. Kami has a great move though in this game. The thing I feel about Kami is um, she has very good footsie options, but you have to be a fairly good player to actually utilize them. She's not like a free footsie character, you know? It's like you, you, ha you have to know. I mean, obviously, footsies aren't an easy thing to begin with, but like with Kami, it's. It's a bit more precise than with other characters, I feel like. Okay, so Yagami takes it pretty convincingly the first game. Oh, first round, sorry. Can you get a perfect one? Guess I'm not the only one. <laughs> Join the club with them, please. Oh, okay, that was counter. I was wondering why that combo. Okay. Um, Boblan hitting Yagami up with the memes. Nice. Good stuff. 
Paps actually isn't here, I don't know why. I guess he couldn't make it probably. It's not like Bash Fest who said he'd come and then banged. Bang Fest. Uh, <laughs> That was nice. Good, good stuff. Uh, nice, good stuff from Bubble. Actually ties it up. Final round. Fight. Oh, nice. Okay, so Bubble doing pretty good work here with Kami. She's a good pick in general. Oh, that was sick. Great combo. Oh, a lot of damage. I'm actually really unsure what Rue can actually do with the meter. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you got me very convincing in this round. It'll take a lot for Bubba to get back here, but that's a start. Okay, activates V trigger. V trigger from Kami is really scary. She can do so much. Another grab? Yeah, yes. go for another grab. grab. Come on. One more. Oh, he, hey. oh. <laughs> he went for one more. You know, there, he could have just done super. Because he you had time to recover, wins. and her super works as an anti air because it's so fast. Yeah, but what he could have done also is just mash VP. Mash yeah. VP into super. That works. <laughs> yeah, the problem is when she's in V trigger, she follows up, and the timing to cancel the DP into oh, super yeah, right. is really tight. You can do it, but not as an anti air, or it's difficult as an anti air, because she'll go up into the air before hitting them. Yeah, but she oh, would also have gone stun there. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So we should just done DP. Yeah, Gami going in. Oh, that was a nice stutter. Yeah. Good anti-air. Okay, so yeah, Gami 1-0. Okay. Nice. Get the stuff. Again. Okay. Oh, no. Bad call. Uh, Yagami takes that round as well. Yagami up on match point against Bublan. Bublan chose to stick with Kami. There's no going back now. What can he do? I smashed the mic. <laughs> hey man! <laughs> what? That's not cool. Oh yeah, her standing HP is in a crush counter. I'm, I'm dumb. I knew that. She only has one. Yeah, she only has a standing heavy kick. It's not that good either. Well, actually the sweep, but yeah, that's a different kind of crush counter. And yeah, the standing heavy kick is really hard to hit with. Okay, nice. Can you get more from here? Stun really oh, high. Great. If he gets anything more on Yagami now, yeah, definitely going for the pro there. Okay. Good block. Oh, couldn't punch it. Okay, nice. Gets the V reversal. Okay, really good poking here. Can Bubblin take this round? Would be huge if he could. Oh, man. Oh, nice. Okay, so. Still match point for Yagami, but Bubblin showing some signs of struggle against him. Oh, gets DP. DP. They're both fully stocked as well. Yeah. Burns a meter. Get good knockdown there. Yeah, stunning MK is a really good buff here, Tammy. Problem definitely using it. Oh! Good stuff here. No! Oh, he missed the jab there. Oh, uh, no, he, he went. He was just too slow. He was going for the back MP. I remember we found out the back MP works there as well. So. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, and Yagami takes it 2 0. Man, Bubba got on that follow up on the crush counter. I'm not sure if you can challenge that actually. The back uh, the back roundhouse. Is it possible to challenge it? Uh, the what? The back roundhouse. Ryu's uh, back roundhouse. I see a lot of people try to challenge it, but they just get to get counter hit by the yeah. standing short. I don't know. So the other side winner semi is coming up now with Brick and Atrosh. This should be... Sangi Birdie. Um, the times... I've only seen these guys play in casuals. The times I've seen this, uh, it's been Brick winning every time. But it's casuals, it's not the same as tournaments. Atrosh is also really good in tourneys. He is. He definitely does better in tournament than in casuals. It's kind of weird, but yeah. 
Uh, so looking at the top 16 here, uh, Adeke is out, Mika player. Pedro is out with his Nash. Oh, Pedro is uh, out? Pedro is out. And Giron this free just ended and this free won, so you'll be facing him in a while. Yeah. Uh, so Giron Birdie is out and we got V Nasty versus you are still going on over there. So these are our 13 placers are Adeke, Giron, Pedro. And that match isn't over yet, so give us a few. Quick shout out to my boy V Nasty doing work. Yeah, he's doing pretty well. He was one of the players actually at seating here because he got seventh at the A League qualifier last week. He's he's strong, dude. He, he really is, but he he doesn't do well in tourneys. I haven't seen him play. You haven't? I'm always a commentary, so I haven't been able to see him. <laughs> he also plays Chun, so he, he's he's I, one yeah, of those people. That but I know. <laughs> I know that he plays Chun, so I mean he's got a good start right there. Okay, so Break versus Atrosh, winner semis. Um, we're probably gonna move on to some losers matches on stream after this. We're gonna talk to the guys and make sure that happens. Uh, because we're gonna want to do the top four in sequence on stream. Nice sweep. Yeah, very good sweep. Good stuff. Actually, maybe I should alert them now if I can uh, get a hold of them. GG, still not over. Yo, this is some weird footsies. Yeah. These two characters, man. Oh, nice. Oh, good, good SPD. Um, sorry. Uh, Steph. Steph. And the Heftiger Steph. And the Heftiger Steph. Good back, back. Steph, the photographer, uh, helping me out with everything. Yeah. Since I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> she takes great photos, man. Mm. Cool. Uh, Steph, you Good stuff. Atra! Nice, good stuff from Atra, takes the first round. Can you keep it up? Good stuff. That's a lot of damage. Wow, really getting a lot of small hits in here. Keeps pressure is strong. Yeah, it is. His crouching jab is really, really good. Good job. Nice. Good damage. He's gonna go for SPD somewhere here. Yeah. Oh, wow! I thought... Birdie has a lot of HP, so I thought he was gonna survive that. Nope. Final round. Fight. Maven in the chat. Yo, I see you, homie. The sound effect on that banana is so dumb. <laughs> Alright, great super confirm from uh, Atrosh. Definitely. That's a good use of meter because now he's gonna keep building meter the rest of the round. Because it's a pretty long round then, anyway. Uh, break, full meter, full V trigger. Ooh, that's a fun Nice. What's he got here? Can he get something in super? If he gets a crush counter of some sort, he can go into super for sure. Oh, good Atrosh grab. knew that. Okay. Oh! <laughs> nice! <laughs> how she how did Akrosh not hurt here in oh! on the wake up? I don't know, man. <laughs> wow. That, that's so cheap. Yeah. That's so Good cheap. stuff. Break takes the first game. Akrosh definitely got to feel a bit robbed after that. Is that Even though doing the I think it was legit, dance. but Akrosh got to feel like. What? Really? No, oh, he's pissed. Yeah, he's not happy about that one. Round one. Fight. Okay, nice. Brick does uh, good damage. Going in. Good lariat. Decent damage there. Brick definitely take control. Here and get that. Oh no. Oh, the banana peel. So it's gonna get it. Okay, so V-Nasty actually won off-stream, so Gior is a 13th placer as well. Our 13th placers are Ade, Adekoa, 
Giran, Dior Broman, and Pedro. And now we're gonna play some ninth place matches after this. Uh, you're gonna see one on stream right after this, so stay tuned, guys. Rick on match point against Atrush. Okay, good damage from Atrush. It's the headbutt. Okay. Oh, that was a good read. Yeah. Decent combo as well. Nice. Get some with the V. Yeah, let's go. Okay, full V trigger now for Rick. Uh, pretty close to full meter. It's gonna be a little bit. Oh, oh no! That doesn't that was work! Sick. Really? Oh my god, and Atros takes the round. Wow. God damn! I what thought I was gonna player. win. Final round. Fight! Good stuff, very good stuff from Atros. This is like the last game where the third round he just burnt the meter right away. He has a, he, I mean, he has a full round left to build meter now, so he definitely has, uh, he definitely has a, uh, he, he's at a good uh, point. Okay, nice. Sorry for stuttering so much. Stephanie came by and wanted to take pictures, so we had to do a post. Oh, oh that's has, yeah, man. And he has super, so this this is it. I'm gonna mess it up. Yeah. Okay, nice. Brick takes it. Uh, so Brick and Yagami is gonna be your winner's final. Not quite yet, but it's gonna be in a bit. Uh, Who would have guessed? Yeah, much like every single Street Fighter 4 tournament we've had the last like two years, yeah. maybe more in Stockholm. Um, so now Good we're stuff. gonna have a ninth place match going on on stream. Uh, Luffe gonna play his off stream. So uh, I'll see you later, homeboys. Good yeah, I'll games. bring someone else in for now. Okay, Yagami coming in. Uh, Hello. Hey, man. Ah, oh, yeah. Good man. All right. So on stream we're gonna have Scottan and Pippi. All right. Um, so this should be. Uh, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I think I figured out which side is which now. Usually the. The from right hand player from our side is player one, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's the opposite this time, I believe. I think <laughs> that that's the way it is. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, so we've actually got quite a few viewers. Yeah. Well. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's isn't so that a new They're, record they're gonna see you either bop or get bopped by Brick in a bit. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be but winner finals, that's right? Winner finals. So yeah. is that best out of five? Uh, yeah. Uh, exactly. It's gonna be first to three. All right. Nice. <laughs> but we're gonna play losers now until we're down to top four. Then we're gonna play winners finals, losers semis, losers finals grand. Wait, losers semis before losers? No, what? Yeah, winners finals and yeah. then losers semis. So you or break whoever loses gets a quick break. Aha! Uh -huh, but that's uh, okay. The thing is, it's usually weird switching up the finals because then it's best out of five suddenly best out oh of yeah, three. Oh yeah, I again. know. But that's the way they usually do in the tournament. Uh, it's to give the player who loses the winners finals a little bit of a break. All right. So they don't have to jump right into the next match. Sure. Oh, it actually was the wrong side after all. God damn it. I think they actually yeah. changed it up this time. <laughs> because this has worked for the last few matches. Okay, so... Um, Pippi playing the Kali. Um, I don't know, like... how. He he has such a game Round crisis one. in general, but I don't know how much he likes five. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I know. I I mean, he probably likes it. He plays it a lot. As usually, he's been uh, having a hard time choosing a character. Yeah. Um, but I think he feels like he's gonna go with Kali now. Yeah. But um, knowing him right, he's gonna regret that decision <laughs> sooner or later. Yeah, on. probably. He's uh, off a bit. Yeah. Uh, Scott is pretty committed to Kali so far. Yeah. Very good choice. Mm -hmm. I don't really think he has a secondary prepared. Yeah. Well, he, well he does a have a Mika, but yeah, but I like w when I is Mika a better option? Mika at yeah. all in this tournament, even though he has a pretty good Mika. Mm. Be good damage here. Okay, he doesn't yeah. get follow up. All right, and this is uh, according to Scotland's online stats. This is one of his hardest matchups. One of his hardest? Yeah, yeah. The two characters he loses the most to when playing online is apparently Nakali and Dalsim. I guess he's Dalsim. I guess... Uh, I mean, I, d I don't think Nakali is really... I, I wouldn't say he's bad, but he's not that strong of a character either. Mm. Uh, but he does get so much damage when yeah. he gets a hit. He can rock you very quickly. So much. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's scary to let him get in. Yep. Okay, good stuff. Scott on making good use of the instant air legs. Yeah, this definitely is definitely a tool you need against Scott in control like right now. Okay, and just as I said that. Yeah. But um like I feel against a character like Nikali, what you need to do, no matter what character you're playing, is use normals that will stop this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've only played this as Ryu, really. I played yeah. some Claw, and with Claw you just outrange him. That's your go-to way. But yeah. with Ryu, I really rely on yeah fireballs and stuffing his advancements. Yeah, and I guess for Shun Li, it's a bit harder because her fireball. I mean, it's good, but it's it not used in the same way at all. So I think she probably has to challenge his normals a lot. Um, yeah. That's scary. Cause yeah, I think like the instant air legs are like the best tool against Nikali probably yeah. because it puts him in a very rough position. He can't do much. Nice. He be in the corner oh. and gets done. gets done. I don't think he can finish here, but he can do a lot of damage. Okay, oh, he, can. he can finish. Wow. Whoa. Scotton takes the first game. 1-0. Oh. Charlie wins. Okay, so actually, David the Real apparently eliminated Kefi off stream. So, oh wow, Kefi is a ninth placer. Hmm. So, David the Real is actually in top eight, so you guys might see him again. The chat is crazy about David the Real. Oh, right. oh, yeah, they think he's a fraud. Okay, so they want. They want him to lose on stream, uh, and they want me to bring him here for a stream interview. But I don't know what. what? <laughs> I don't know do like what, what I would even say to him. Yeah. So. Okay, so Scott done very good start here. Uh, PP definitely not finding anything like any good answer to the air leg. I'm not yeah. sure there is any. <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah, I know how how does Nakali's shurikens work? Are they are his, they his what? His shurikens. They're pre they're actually they actually do have uh, some invisibility. You could probably use it if he's prepared. Yep. Because his light is free frames. Mm. Like uh, yeah, then that should do it. Yeah, but you have to be prepared because that can yeah, be yeah, really sure. quick. <laughs> yeah, you, you really have. You have to know the ranges he wants to do the at. Mm. And you almost have to do it from the crouching position, otherwise it's gonna yeah. be really hard. Yeah, I think so. Okay, good stuff from Scotton at match point against PP. This is a match to qualify for top eight. Round two. Oh yeah. Fight. Okay, PP gets some stuff started again. Yep. Oh god. That was a risky jump, but he got away with it. I think if PP was more aware, he could have sure you can do. Scott, I'm putting a lot of pressure here, trying to keep yeah. PP in the corner. Ooh, gets really out. dash there. It was not positive on block. I mean, I think he punished the dash even. Yeah. Mm, yeah, meet the slide. That's supposed to be plus and block if he drops it correctly. Still safe though. Oh well, be reversible, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no real damage, but it's usually, usually the the defensive player should do the v reversal on the X legs if yeah, he or she can. Yeah, they're plus, right? Or no, they're not plus, but they're very safe. And yeah, it's they, like they are safe. Position. But you have like, I mean, you, you can easily react with the re reversal, so it's a free knockdown yeah. in a follow-up on that. But depending on what kind of v reversal you have, of course. I know Vega, Vega can can punish it if he V reverses back it. Oh yeah, because so Vega he can always. Do it. Okay, good stuff. Uh, Scatan takes a 2-0. Uh, yeah, but uh, Vega has a very unique V reverse in the sense that he gets to punish a lot of stuff with it. Yeah, yeah. Most people really have a counter attack of some sort. I don't know, but I think uh, Fang can probably punish some stuff. Like Ex Leg, he should be able because they're out there for a really long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. This is the eighth win for player two. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get uh, David the Real on stream now uh, against uh, V Nasty. This is a top eight match. Uh, our ninth facers are Pipi Andro, GTM, and Kefi. And this footage is currently playing against Luffe, and it's looking in this footage's favor. So, judging by right now, it looks like Luffe is gonna be the last ninth placer, to the joy of the stream chat. They uh, they do a lot of hating on uh, <laughs> Luffe here. Oh, look, we have another banger in the chat. Jenny, as much of a banger as Bashfest. Oof, maybe the biggest banger of them all. Yeah, she's actually a bigger banger than Bashfest. <laughs> okay, Luffe is out. Luffe gets ninth place. So, recapping the top 16. 13th place are Adeke, Grön, Giori Bruman, Pedro. 
Knife plays are PP Andro, this uh, sorry, PP Andro, uh, Luffe, GTM, and Kefi. Mm. So top eight now. V nasty against David the Real, happening on stream. This is bracket matches. So this is gonna be Chun Li versus uh, Bison. Mm. So the reason people are hating on David the Real, yeah is he was the first guy that got his points reset by Capcom because he had rage quit so much. Yeah. <laughs> what, the first guy in the world? I think he was the first guy in the world. Oh, that that's like an achievement, seriously. He'd rage quit <laughs> so <laughs> much and he was at like 6,000 points. Sorry? Mm. V-Nasty. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is a run back. V-Nasty got sent to losers by David Real. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll see if V-Nasty has some rage to bring out. Uh, good players in uh, Sweden for Street Fighter. Well, we have Yagami on commentary right now. Wait, Hello. Let, let me show the commentator Brown. cam so you can see him. Whoa. Guy next to me here. Yeah. He's really good. Probably the best in Stockholm, at least in 4. Yeah, um, yeah in 4, I guess. Yeah. Currently, I mean, Street Fighter 5 is still too new. Yeah. We don't really have enough, like, enough results to say who's the absolute best. Yeah. I mean, the only result we have is, like, the A League qualifier where yeah. Brick won. Yeah, exactly. Brick is. Uh, up there right now, obviously. And mm. Skatan's good, always. He's a classic top player. Uh, Bublan, always good in tons of different games. Yeah. And then when it comes to Street Fighter specifically, we have Bash Fest, Atros. That's just top one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because in uh, Gothenburg, we have Poppy and Chino. I guess uh, Chewy and Bit, but I don't know if they're playing five. Uh, I don't know, but I mean, they were good in four. Yeah. Then in Lean Shopping, we have Ethelman. Skoane, we have Salty Kid. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I he heard he's really good in five. He, uh, he, I don't know. I haven't seen him in five, but he was really good in four. With yeah, I mean, random was. characters, Gen and DJ. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And Felix Ekman too, but he's up in Norland now. All oh, right, right. Yeah, Round he's two. really good too. He used to be in Gothenburg, but I think Point. he's in Norland now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of good people. I mean, maybe I'd believe that Jenny was good if she ever showed up to anything, but she's like the biggest <laughs> banger ever. So. Okay, so back to the match. Venus takes the first round. Uh, pretty good stuff. Let's see. Uh, Okay, nice move from David Rio. Oh man, Vina yeah. down to half HP already. Yeah, yeah. I see David Rio really getting away with yeah those uh, the demon flips a lot. People aren't punished them properly yet. You mean from up the uh, oh, rest. oh wow, Vina oh, wow. putting on hard pressure now. Really good stun. Oh, he gets it. it. Nice. Is this gonna be it? No, this is not gonna be it. Or or is? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I don't know Jim Lee comes. Oh, okay, nice, Vinas putting on hard pressure on David the Real. Oh, oh wow, nice stuff from David the Real. Can you get it? Any hit will kill now, probably for either player. Ooh, the mix up again. Oh, oh yeah, he blocked so it. Close. I mean, it's Go. good that he blocked it instead of getting hit, but really, he should be comparing oh. it. Oh, this is so scary oh, right now. Oh god, that was huge commitment. That yeah, absolutely. Please kill. Yeah. Oh no, he oh. gets away with it again. Oh my goodness. Someone punish this guy! Oh, oh god! Oh, oh what? no! What did he why, try to why, do? What was he doing? I don't know. Crouching MK? Why? Uh, uh, maybe tried low profiling a demon flip, but instead it was a stomp. Oh, uh, yeah! Yeah, that's probably it. But then he was like but way still, too early yeah. anyway, so I don't know. Okay, but good start from being nasty here. Yeah, he goes Close in hard. Okay, oh, okay. Dash this is through dash. Okay. No, goes away and just gets in there again with the stomp. That's really his go-to game plan, mate. Like, fill some space, do a stomp or devil reversal, and I mean, so far he's getting away with it. Yeah. Oh, that, that's that, what that was nice, low profile. Maybe stomp. that's what he tried to do before the stomp. Yeah. Okay, gets out of the corner though, but still yeah. decent damage. David Real still uh, at an advantage right now. Ooh, okay, that's a nice activation. Clear cancel. Oh, oh reset! No! He misses it! But, but he still. gets a grab again, and he's still in another. Oh my god, he missed what? it. He could have. Got and he's just there. going half! Gets it though! Yeah! Nice, Vinati takes the first game. Good stuff from Vinati. I mean, well, he was really, really relying on his offense there. Like, yeah. the last two rounds, the fir I mean, the, the first round he won, he was he got the stun. This round again, he almost got the stun. Yeah. I think all matches are going to be streamed from now on, but I'm not entirely sure. It looks uh, like there are only casuals being played on the off stream. Alright. Yeah, it's I mean, it's top 8, so it makes yeah. sense. Yeah! So might as well. That would mean that the next match is Gotham versus... Mm -hmm. Classic match. Okay, 
Okay, so uh, David Real back into a corner, but he gets out and puts Lee Nasty in the corner. Oh, oh good punish here. Oh, he's decent anyway. Nice. Yeah, I think pro. he was too far for a cross counter, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's really difficult with the EX spinning burn kick because it pushes you away so far if you block it. So. Yeah, no. I mean, <laughs> or speaking as a real player, if you block it close, you just smash heavy kick. It works oh, every yeah, time. Sure. And I would assume it's the same thing for Bison. But that, that's this time he was far away and Bison doesn't walk fast. So. Yeah. Yeah, he was out of the range to even block it, so... Okay, Vina's in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, that's the Bison classic. Yeah, yeah. The, the sheep back to the Oh, no, gets behind him. Nice. Good stuff from David the Real. Yeah, good thinking from Vina also. Well, but, absolutely. Um, a bit too early. That's yeah. like actually probably a really good answer. I mean, I you don't so. have to worry about cross-ups, not for your input or like... No, exactly. And stuff, so It'll come out. Yeah, yeah. solid, solid alternative. Oh, v nasty in the corner, feeling the bison pressure. Oh man, v nasty, definitely. Oh no, he misses his CK legs. Yeah, he keeps That's trying good. to do the instant air legs, yeah. but they're not going through. He needs to go into training mode for a bit, I think. Yeah, probably. But he's doing well with the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not quite. So now he has bison in the corner, who gets out and gets back in, and just stomps his way out of there. Oh my god. But he still, he still has... Okay, never mind. Now it's completely switched. Low HP for Shun. Shun but he just lets the corner go. Really Weird. strange play there. And now he's back in... I mean, this this match is just... Trigger. Guess it's there like this time. Wow. Good call on the... Okay. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh! Oh my god. So much okay. damage here. Can you get anything it. else? No. Takes the throw, but he's still okay. in there. Oh! Uh, Oh, wait, no, Damn, no, wait, that that so close, but this could be a finisher, no! Oh, this is so close! Oh, be nasty! Oh, what? Scary! Okay. Slowing the pace down, both of them. Yeah. Okay, okay but David Real, like go oh, into scary no. mode. Oh, good. Okay. Great tech, great tech. Risky tech, but. Oh, no, but against him! David Real oh. takes the second game, and it's You one saw what happened one. there? He wanted to do the spinning bird kick. Yeah. But. Um, so he waited for the demon flip, but instead, yes. I mean, I guess that's some piss overhead, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the third oh, wow. for one. Really tight there. Round one. Okay, Four. so here we go. Final match between David the Real and Dean Nasty. Uh, this is a top eight match. The loser gets seven. The winner advances to fight Blue Blanc. They're playing on my favorite stage. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> stage. I like February in the background because she goes nuts when someone wins. Mm. You know the doll, February? Yeah, yeah. She goes nuts with the Yuzi. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fucking love it. I also like the like, flying things in the background, which is very unclear what it is. There is flying around. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's weird, but I like it. Yeah, that was a oh, really wow. good round. Wow, David. David the Real doing really well here. You can yep. see how we managed to send V Nasty to lose it early on. Mm. Man, can V Nasty finish this run back? Maybe. Oh, yeah, you can see Ferrier, she's backing up. Yeah, yeah. And now he's just, he wants to do the other work. Yeah, there it comes. Oh, good anti air. Anti air. Gets the air legs this time. Okay, a lot of pressure here. Yeah. David Real putting me in a Oh, God, that was a bad whiff. That's kind of weird. Okay. Good. Getting the Tagony legs now. But David Real is just getting away from all the situations. Good tech there. Oh, oh wow. wow, that was nice. super nice. Good bait. David Real gets him in. Oh, okay, no, gets that's thrown into the, the corner. Um. Okay, forces himself out with an EX bar. Oh, uh, I think he tried to walk under or something. Damage, but didn't he had a bit of trouble now. Okay. David really oh, goes nice. for a lot of fever. Decent also. damage here. What can you get afterwards? Ooh, double, oh, double kick combo. Oh, nice tagging the legs. And there comes Man. the universal. A lot of good stuff here. Oh, close. Can be nasty to do it. Oh! Oh, oh so my god. I think people should... Uh, you know... Oh, wow. Oh, doesn't oh quite god. get it. That's unsafe, but I don't know if Chan has anything that reaches. Okay, okay. Blocks it. Good. Oh, wow. Well, there, in that situation. Yeah. People should stop taking the throw. Because pros aren't fast in this game anymore. Also, you jabbing jab to it? stuff, yeah, jabbing yeah. to stuff to dash is so much more reliable. That's true. Final round. Okay, nice. Uh, 
match point for both players. This is gonna be the final round. Yeah. It's been really tight so far. I mean, so, some rounds have been uh, really in someone's favor. But yeah. it's just been a lot of back and forth. And a lot of stomps. Uh, that slide was on purpose, I think. Good overhead. Wow. He's actually not really confirming for anything, but he's getting a lot of like damage. Yeah, he's, bit go by he's bit going here. in when he's in. Yeah. Like sometimes overextending, walking too far and trying to get a grab. Oh, that was great. Great pierce. Oh, nice. Oh, nice stuff. Didn't get wow, a combo. Can you do this? Venus is so close right now. Oh god. Oh, but it's... Oh, oh he gets some corner. Oh, Venus takes it. David the real goes home in seventh place. Good stuff. Yeah, that was really good match. You know, I think. So I'm next up, go we're gonna have Dusfuri going up against Katan. But I'll be right back. All right. Okay, so actually, Guilty Gear is over, and uh, Jetamania won in the end. GTM reset the bracket first, and then. Uh, Jetamania took it after that, so it was pretty close apparently. I didn't get to see it, but they they were winners finals and then two sets in grand finals and every set was free too. So that's pretty Round tight. One. Cool stuff. Fight. So uh, congratulations to our Guilty Gear winner Jetamania and GTM for getting second. Tilhadras third and Gran fourth. Good stuff to all those guys. I don't know what characters they play. You should know that, man. Do they play outfit? Okay, so uh, Skatan and Dysphory happening now. Oh, sorry, still have ones up there. Fixed it. Uh, Gustav's nickname is Tulhadras, and he got third in Guilty Gear. Hello? Oh, back right in time. Amazing. Yeah. So, Chun Li versus Ken. I don't know how much uh, this three has been playing Street Fighter 5. Uh, Scotland's been playing a lot. I, yeah, he's, gr I, I got he's grinding the online. In his stream. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I sit in the chat shit posting without like anyone being able to ban me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mod powers. So good. <laughs> Anyway, into the match. Yeah. Scott and going for training stage. Yes. Optimizing for no frame drops. Exactly. This game does have some frame drops, which yeah. is unfortunate. Hopefully, that can be fixed. It You're needs good. to be fixed, seriously. But the best way to uh, counteract it is to play the training stage. I mean, it's a pretty boring stage, but what are you gonna do? Like, yeah. You don't want the game to be messed up. Very good stuff from Scotland so far. Uh, really pushing this footy out uh, of any offensive range. Yeah, yeah. Stefan hasn't had anything to say so far in this match. He's just getting stuffed everywhere. Yeah, and Ken you can see does, now he's very wary about his stuff. I do think that Ken. Ha uh, I mean, Chun should probably be one of Ken's most difficult matches because she excels at the range where he struggles. Yeah, it's probably really hard to get in. Yeah. The only thing I can think of right off the bat to do is like a Tatsu, but that's a major risk. Yeah, but yeah. This Tatsu is ridiculously fast in this game. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty friends, right? Yeah, he can use it as a whip punch. Mm. But again, it is commitment to do it. Oh, wow. What? Face I don't know what that was about, but alright. Okay, gets punished. Okay, this three gets a decent punish. Oh, and gets a pro afterwards. Follow up. Ken actually has really good Okasim in this game. Maybe you thought that this was going to do like a Hadouken after the jab? Yeah, I don't know. Something. Failed air legs. Uh, yeah, that's true. I was seeing him doing it in training mode and a lot of times when he was trying to do air legs he got super instead. Oh, right. So that's it's probably it. Okay. So what is the input nice. for legs? Is it QCF kick? The input? Yeah. It's, um, let's see, Charlie down yeah. forward. I think it's down, forward, down, uh, forward, up, down, forward. Like, sorry, down, forward, down, forward. Wait, okay, wait, let, let me do the numpad, motion. okay? So, it's three, two, six, nine, three. 
Why free first? Why oh, sorry, it's not free. It's two free, six, nine free. Yeah, that makes so much more sense. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's what happens. So you get down and yeah, that happens. Mm. Okay, so anyway, back to the match. Scotton uh, really pulled it off despite that mishap. Uh, did very well. It looks like he's going to continue doing so, unless he's really figures something out here. Okay, good. Very good uh, jump in there. Gets good damage. Oh, nice. Does it again. Okay, punish here from Scotton, but he messes it up. Okay, gets the last hit anyway. Looking good for this play right now. Oh, nice. Come on, curse. Right into the super. That actually does less damage if you beat your cancel before, but I uh, think he wanted the confirmation window because he wasn't quite sure if he hit. Mm. Then he saw he hit, he went like, okay, yeah. super. I mean, the activating in this game, I feel, is very strong overall, because, you know, often you can just push your button, activate. If, if they block, you're off. You're usually positive and block, like yeah. a lot of positive, at least for you. Yeah. And a lot of those kind of cancels. And I mean, if they hit, you get a really free confirm into whatever suitable. Sure. I think it's it's often a really good win-win situation. There. You gotta mix up or get a hit. Huge damage from Scottam there on the jump in. Mm. Oh god, that's punishable. No, Stefan. Oh. Yeah, stuff in a big trouble right now. He is okay. Great confirm. Uh, there we go. Uh, this three takes uh, seventh place. So seventh place is David the Real and this three. So next up we should have V Nasty versus Goblin probably. Mm. So yes. So judging by Bublan's choice against Skathan is probably gonna go with Karin again against Jun Lee. Yeah, I think so. He did really well against Skatan. Uh, yeah, it was close. Uh, and he won in the end. <laughs> so. uh, now it should be B, Nasty, and Boblan. So probably Shunli, Karin, but Boblan plays like every character, so you never quite know what yeah, he's yeah. going to Oh, wow, I didn't even notice until now he's having the Tom, Tom of Finland shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the best shirt ever. <laughs> I really need to get me one of those. Why not? Round one. Yeah, exactly, shirt. why not? It's a good it's shirt. A great shirt. I mean, we don't have the Tom of Finland collection on Dragon's Ladder anymore, right? I think Bublan has Bublin stolen took it. it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. We should bring it back. Yeah. If you can convince Bublan to actually start going to deal again, he'll probably be okay with it. Mm -hmm. But if, he's, if he doesn't want to go there, why would he give up his price? Yeah, exactly. Will he, will he steal it? <laughs> when we're uh, there. Uh, yeah, probably. He won't notice. I think he might. Yeah, but not <laughs> until it's too late. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna notice when it's too late. He's gonna notice when he brings it out at night to read it. Yeah. <laughs> that used to be like the best icebreaker for all the new players. Oh, yeah, oh you're yeah. new. Have you read Tom of Finland? Yeah, Tom of Finland. Yeah. Okay. Uh, names are switched, let me fix that. And there we go. Uh, okay, good Round stuff. One. So, uh, Bublan coming in with Karen as suspected. V Nasty thinks in Uh I have no idea how much V Nasty has been playing, so I don't know if he knows Karen that well. Mm. Um, Bublan was over at my place labbing a while ago, and this week, and. Uh, oh, we wow, that's like a great corner yeah. here. We found a lot of stuff with Karen that's actually... Like, people don't punish it, but it's very punishable. The sweep? Yeah, the or sweep, for example. Yeah. Where the hard box is extended for the first four frames. Yeah, exactly. He told me about it. Yeah. Because I, I have been struggling with the sweep. Because it seems so broken. You block it, it at the tip, and you're like, holy shit! Yeah. But it's punishable at every range. I don't know if every character can, but most characters should be able to. Yeah, I mean... It's how much minus it hit at the tip. It's minus, like, four or five at the tip, right? Um, I don't know how much uh, at the very tip, but okay. you have. You yeah, have I think it's four actually. Yeah, it's four. You ha you need the four frame move mm. to Round reach two. in time. So for you, you can four. do medium shuriken or jab into ex uh, tatsu. Uh, yeah, both should work. Yeah, but it's still. I mean, that's hard to do. You have to do a frame perfect punish. Exactly. Uh, On a max range sweep, which you have to react to very yeah. fast. 
because this game did make uh, execution in combos easier by putting a frame buffer. So one frame needs to become three frame That's not true for punishes. Is it not? I don't think so. Yeah, it must be. Yes, it, it, is? it is. That's not the impression that I've gotten when I'm faint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite sure. Maybe I'm just bad. I am mashing my punishes. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... Ryu can just press anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bubble doing really well here. Uh, be nasty, kind of at a loss to what's supposed to do. Mm. Oh, that's super. Can punish a lot of things with that. Maybe not too much on Shun Lee. She's she really too much negative on stuff. Oh, nice. Gets the sweep. V nasty stuck in the corner. Bublin has every resource. Oh, oh nice. Oh. Wow, he actually got him. Though. Despite the V trigger cancel. Yep. Good stuff. Okay. So Bublin takes first game. Kari wins. This is the so Bobbins up one game. One. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Training stage is so boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know why we're playing it, but like, you know. For the first time I feel it's at least legitimized to choose it. In four, not so much. Yeah. Nice. Good stuff here from Bobbin. Okay, close round so far. Messes up the air legs. Yeah, can't do that. Bubblin didn't get enough from it though, he just got two jabs. Mm. Yeah, you can, I mean, it's like every game with trip cards, you can punish them really hard if you know what you do. But I think it's one of the things that you have to get used to, the timing. Because yeah. it's usually quite tight. Round two. But like, give it some time and every anytime a Shin Lee player misses the legs, yeah. that player will die. Okay, so, uh, Bublin at match point right now. Nice. <laughs> really stopped the air legs there. <laughs> yep, that's never too much thing. Or it's like even a tight putting on a lot of pressure. Bublin messing some stuff up here. Good good legs, lots of damage on the corner. Gives pressure, great legs. Oh, he froze good it! Good read on the, uh, I mean, it was oh. rare. Nice from being nasty. Great round. Final round. Fight. Oh, this should be huge. Good jumping. In the corner. This he is has scary. Meter too. Oh yeah. So we're gonna see some big damage. Oh here. EX, yeah. Almost oh, he didn't go for the X tank oh. Okay, the, this, is a, this is gonna be the end. This is a robbery. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Perfect That's the Bubble Classic. You have to step back like one or two frames or something to get the EX Tenko to land. Oh. And uh, so it's kind of difficult. He's been doing that a lot in training mode. Tricky stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it takes two bars, but that's a really good combo to have. <laughs> um, okay, so next up, uh, VNST ends up in fifth place. And next up we have Atrosh versus Katan. And this is also where the loser will get fifth place. Right, right. After this, we're gonna have you in winners finals against Brick. Round yeah, we're closing one. in now. So in the top eight, uh, Dusfuri and David the Real got seventh. V Nasty got fifth, and the loser here also gets fifth. So V Nasty got seeding points from the uh, Elite Qualifier. Hey, no, it was like, kind of like, you know, he's an, uh, he's an okay player, but, and it's a new game and everything, but it's like, I don't know if he should be seeded really, you know, but he proved himself now, he got fifth, so yeah, yeah. obviously he good knows stuff. how five works, he's a good player in it, and he'll probably keep getting seeded in Stockholm. It, it's definitely if he keeps this stuff up. Hmm. Zombie Brian, what's up? Zombie Brian, never stopping. 
relentlessly helping event hubs constantly. My favorite Scott of them all. So here we go, Shun Li versus Birdie. Yes. This is Scott and Atrosh. Sorry. Zero, zero. There we go. Yeah, so. Uh, I don't know how this matchup is really. Birdie does have some pretty good normals. You should be able to yeah. challenge Shun Li uh, in the mid range game. Yeah, I mean, my guess would be uh, it's like slightly in Shun Li's favor. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, but not like crazy. Uh, Maybe not even 6-4, more like a 5.5 5 or something. I mean, Maybe. it's, it's, it's hard to tell this yeah. early. But it could be. Like, from what I've seen, it doesn't feel like Sean destroys Birdie. No, no. Oh, that's a great chain. Mix up. Oh, there it is. Cool. That's actually really good. It's like a running bear guy, oh, but much better. Punish here. Nice. I wonder if we can have done more. He Really tight on. No punish on that one. Might have been a good idea to be reversed though, but anyway, gets yeah. the first round. Batrush takes it. Pretty good stuff there. Heard these normals have such good range. Yeah, yeah, there, there's a lot of good ones. That one is also really good because it's, uh, it's not safe. But I think it can be safe against a lot of characters on the right range. Okay, he gets the crush counter. Here comes the mix up, good meaty. And also good patience from Scotland, just sitting there, not afraid of wow. command grab. Oh, wow, this Ooh, that's a great good way to get out. And gets out of the corner as well. We almost evened it out this round now. Great be reversal. Oh, goes under the fireball. Oh, overhead. And Scotton in the corner. And he's just harassing with the long pokes. Scotton doesn't we're, know what to do. We're gonna see an EX dive any second. I don't know, man. I think he's in a good spot. He doesn't need to go for that. Okay, maybe not. Yes. Now she's like, oh, oh nice. wow. Good reaction to the fireball. Amazing that stuff from Akrosh. Take the first game. Birdie wins. That was quite convincing. Uh, no, sorry, Zombie Brian. That's the tournament in uh, Italy. This is the Stockholm uh, monthly. Round one. Fight. I don't know if the Italy tournament has started yet. Maybe. I have no idea. And away the, again. Scotland is in the corner. And after is just pressing the buttons, harassing. Oh yeah, Scotland get out. Okay. I mean, usually it is because it pushes back so far. Yeah. It's a really strange looking button, but it seems very safe in a lot of situations. Yeah. Wow, good stuff from Atrosh here. Oh, yeah. Definitely using Birdie's button. Oh, wow. Maybe it is. Yeah, I think so. I know Ryu can punish it with Super. Okay. But other than that, how I'm fast not sure. is this Super? The Super is like 4 frames, so. Okay, yeah. Same as Laura's done. Good to know, then I know I can super that as well. Good stuff. We jumped the throw, but Atra takes too early, so it didn't get punished. Now Atra going in with, with the throw. It's gotten out. That is not safe, however. No, no, it's not. Oh, that was oh, a huge that's drop from Scott. Okay, going in. Corner. Can Atra pull this off? Oh, oh there it <laughs> Oh, wow. Atra's on match point against Scotton. Indeed. Is he gonna go four straight? Maybe. Sure we were saying like earlier that like Atra, Atra, he's he's a good player overall. Yeah, yeah. But he gets so much better when he's at the tournament. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it true. It does feel true. like it. He keeps his stuff together, and he has that this play style which can be really frustrating during tournament because he he really knows how to back off and yeah. make you. And in tournaments, you're often like, oh, I need to win this quickly. Oh, you mean uh, Chun Li can punish the uh, down forward heavy punch from Birdie? Standing LK into the EXA. Apparently, Scott Oh no, out. he gets himself cornered. Overextending. Well, I think that's like minus one or two or something. Oh, great jump. Nice, good damage. Will it continue? So does have the trigger activated. Great legs, good dashing. Atra is respecting. Doesn't overcommit to anything. But this is looking really bad for Atra. Oh, crush counter. I think that was an EX tackle. Oh, man. Final round. 
Fight. So Goblin takes his first round. Oh, that's great heavy kick. I think you can get a combo if it dashes in quickly enough there. But, um, well, I assume it's quite hard to react to it in the mid range. That I don't think it was safe that time, but Skara not used the timing. He gets cornered. Banana guard. Banana peel off. Yeah. That's a great option, safe in that distance, goes for oh. the fireball. Oh, wow, crush counter. That's gonna get him here. Oh, gets thrown into the corner. Yes, chills out, backs off. Kind of scary situation. Not forcing anything. But there is, like, the dolphin is there. Yeah, it is. And it is so scary. Free birdie. Activates. Full meter now. Oh, no. Oh, gets the pro. Wow. V trigger and full meter. If he gets a hit, this could be it. And there's banana guard. That was a kind of a bad waste of me for birdie actually. Oh, good crush counter. Oh, gets oh. combo! Nice! Got Great the delay the game. kick there. 1-1. One, one. one of Scott and Strength in both 354 and 5. He's, he's really good at delaying his pressure normals just yeah. enough to get you to try to jab or throw. Eighth win for player one. And that's what he did to finish that round. Fight! Yeah, really well played there. Okay, so again, the loser here gets fifth place. The winner moves on to loser semi where it'll fight Goblin. Oh, oh wow, that idea is wow. so good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it reaches so far forward and like behind him. Yeah, it just like entirely stuffed the air leg. Like, yeah. That's crazy. Good jump from Scott. What a good move. Wow, oh, that was this damage is here. Hitting everything. Yeah. Maybe after she's slightly tilting. After she's uh, looking a bit like. I wouldn't say panicked, but he's getting there. Mm. I mean, this is a really oh, nice situation, but this could turn around. He's got a corner. He's got the banana guard. He's oh. pressuring with safe normals. He needs to open Scott up. up. It is not easy when you have that little life. Can't okay, make anything. great. Uh, Skatan at match point now. Atrosh needs to figure something out here because Skatan's definitely made a strong adaption to Atrosh's game. Definitely. Oh, nice. Great combo. Good damage. Moves him into the corner. Oh, man, that back AP. Oh, is it stunned? No, it's very close. Oh, oh great there overhead. Comes stun. This isn't gonna finish, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, Hatter just one big more mix up here. Oh, oh, he oh it's, perfect. He it's, a it's a perfect! It's a perfect! Got the perfect finish. It out and Atrush goes home in fifth place. Chun Li win. Okay, so next up we're gonna have winners finals. That is Rick me. versus Yagami. So I'll have to bring someone else onto yep. the commentary with Goodbye me. Goodbye for now. See you in a bit. Ah. This is the ninth win for player one. Ja, men nej, nej, säg att det inte är det. Nej, det är det inte alls. Okej, okay, we're kind of debating whether which match is going on. I mean, I can agree, we should do loser semis first. Stam, standard i turnering ja. är att köra winners finals. Loser semis. Det är ganska Okej. Okay, uh, so it's gonna be Brick and Yagami. Um, I just need to find someone to join me on commentary. Um, I don't know who. I know Atros said that he doesn't want to do commentary because he's bad at it. Uh, but I don't know who else to ask for him. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to Luffy, even though you guys seem to hate him. Okay. Alright, we got Skatan joining on commentary. Get Skatan! Okay, no, I will not go solo. Solo commentary is the worst thing ever. It's horrible. I hate it. Hey guys. Alright, so we got uh, Skatan. Um, so Yagama versus Brick. 
Yes, this is winner's final, so it's first to three. Okay. Uh, I believe that they've been alerted to this. I hope so. Uh, I Andra, think they know. Don't wait at the first three, va? Yeah, just double check. Okay. Um, so let's see here. And this is gonna be Ryu Sangi. Man, I almost lost that game. It was fucking rough. <laughs> the game before. Yeah. Ryu. Yeah. It was hard. Yeah, it looked hard. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty fun to watch though. I had to change a lot, like between uh, the first match to the end. Was, yeah, I had to play very different. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, and Atra, Atrosh wasn't able to adapt to your adaption. No, uh, he um, he was using uh, stand throw a lot in uh, defense. So the last two rounds, I was Round just uh, abusing that. Mm. And also, I heard that Rick told him that he should cancel normals into command throws because okay. I'm not jumping after normals. Oh. And I heard that, so I was like, oh, okay, shit. so he's gonna try that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next level take, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just listening. Alright, so uh, Yagami Brick. These guys have played so much against each other in Grand Finals in Street Fighter 4. Like the last two, maybe three years of uh, Stockholm Street Fighter 4 tournaments were these guys in Grand Finals almost every time. Which, yeah. He was playing Zangief in that game too. He was, yeah. But Yagami uh, was using Rolando in War. Yeah, but uh, he actually came and started placing before Yagami played Rolando, so he played some against his Bison and Dalsum as well. Okay. Yeah, this is a different match for sure. Uh, I think... I think actually this matchup for Zangief is... It, like, it might be 5-5. Five five. Yeah. Uh, Could be. Oh! I thought it was going to Because Ryu has a hard time throwing a fireball and... Uh, like adding hits. Yeah. Like if you play Nash or Chun Li or Dalsim, if uh, Sangif tries to flex, you can like add hits, so it's harder for him to flex, but Ryu can't do it. And Ryu's normals are like they're good in some matchups, but Sangif can like outpoke him. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, Brick definitely been uh, a hardcore online warrior so far in Street Fighter V. I believe. Maybe you're higher. Yeah, you're higher now, right? Yeah. On point, yeah. But I believe he's the second highest sweep. I think you're highest. I think so. I don't. I haven't seen anyone pass oh. me yet. Uh, so yeah, definitely up there. He's been grinding. But me, oh, wow. the brick played a lot in France, so yeah, he can definitely win this. Yeah, uh, Sangif's also an unorthodox character. I don't think anyone, at least in Europe, has the opportunity to play with the Geek and Brick level. Yeah. Unless it's Brick, of course. Oh, nice. I've played a lot of Bricks, but, or a lot of Sangifs, but it's just one Brick. Exactly. Brick is the Sangif. Oh. I think this like uh, this match for Yagami is probably pretty difficult yeah. uh, since he's not grinding it out online. And exactly. Yagami is the type of player that if he's not familiar with the matchup, he tends to get blown up. Yeah. I wouldn't say he's getting blown up now though, but... Oh, it was Tatsu though, no? I thought it was Tatsu. Nice. Good stuff from Brick. Really close to taking him now. The Unseen Super is the deadliest. Yeah. Oh! Oh, actually, Yagami might take this after all. Rick has V-Trigger though. Oh no, bad fall on the V-Trigger and Yagami takes the first game. That was bad game. activate. Yeah, very bad. So Yagami up 1-0. I think Brick kind of wins. mentally broke after he got the super. Yeah. Because he, at that moment, he thought he'd already won. <laughs> and then that didn't leave his mind <laughs> for the rest of the game. <laughs> he was like, I've already won this, so whatever. Let's move on to the next game. Like, no. Nope. No, please no. <laughs> but yeah, this is first to three, so still good chance of getting back. Absolutely. Set isn't over by a long shot. Nice. One thing I've noticed with Rick is that he gets frustrated um, after he loses. So if he's winning, like if he's super good when he's winning. But if he's like frustrated, then uh, he tends to do 
like bad decisions. Yeah. Yagami playing very well this round, uh, definitely putting pressure on Brick. Brick probably pretty flustered about losing that first match. Yeah. Yeah, you can see he's not, he's not as Active. he's not as courage courageous. Yeah. He's not doing as much. And I mean that was what was netting him so much damage. Because even if it's a trade, Sangif has so much HP and his damage is good on his pokes, so almost any trade will be in his favor. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think every trade for him is in his favor in yeah. this matchup. Probably, yeah. I don't think Ryu has a good uh, answer to the charge fears. Uh, the what? Charge fears. Oh, yeah. Usually you can do a low to hit him out. Yeah, but um, Ryu doesn't have... Like, his low doesn't reach far enough. Oh, nice. This first counter doesn't get oh. anything afterwards. It's tied by the Shoryu. Oh, wow, he gets the running back. Oh, the Yagami unblockable. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what can he do from here? He's gonna activate again. Yes! Oh. Nice, from the combo. Oh, okay, oh. nice. Gets a crushing charge. Yeah, uh, Yagami is notoriously free against those kinds of moves. Yep. Uh, he got tagged like three times, I think, by Atrosh in the launch tournament when Atrosh did the dive the with Birdie. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> but it's been like that ever since like Street Fighter 4. Even with Sangave's bad running air grab, every yeah. time he did it, it was like... I just stood there and got hit by it, or straight jump and then got hit by it. Wow. Oh, you got me almost putting a perfect right now. Oh, wow, he actually got hit by that. A brick has to pull everything out here. Anything will kill him. Any little thing. And he's already burned his V-trigger. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, goes for the gamble. Wow. Oh, oh my god. I thought he was going to do super from there. I think Yagami tried to do wake up Shoryu, but failed it. Yeah. Wow. If Brick can pull this off, he's like a god. Oh, why? No. He was thinking of Fireball. Yeah. Probably. Oh, man. Okay, Yagami's up to a. But that's the trick with Vue. When you activate, you don't throw a Fireball. No, exactly. Ever. Because people game. will jump. Yeah. Yeah, I jump. This is the 13th win for player 2. So you got me up 2-0. Um, going player right 2 OP in. on this setup. Hmm? Player 2 is OP on this setup. Way yeah, it looks, like it. it looks like it. Player 2 is putting a lot of work. Like that's one thing I've noticed at tournaments uh, when they have a stream setup. There's usually like a huge win streak on one side. I know, I know. <laughs> that happens all the time. Oh, nice. Doesn't get anything from it though. Oh, gets the SPD. Good stuff. Can Brick get more happening from here? No, not quite. Man, is the rain of Yagami back? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I thought Brick was our lord and savior. He was not the chosen one. <laughs> Maybe not. It's like in the Matrix. Yeah, I'm sorry, exactly. but you're not the chosen one. Oh, wow. Can he do it? Didn't quite reach. Good V trigger can. Oh, that was a bad jump in, but he got away with it. Yeah. What's Brick gonna do here? Man, he really keeps messing up with that. Yeah. Oh, like Yagami has no. caught on to that pattern. Brick does that often. Like he does uh, one on block and then he does another one afterwards. Yeah. Brick definitely in a bad position. He's gotta wake up. I think if he can put this one on the map, then he has a pretty good chance of, like, yeah. uh, at least competing for the set. But yeah. Oh, sweet. That might be what he needs. Could be. Nice! Get the EXSPD, that's a lot of damage in one move. Okay. Doesn't... Not that big of a punish, so it's okay. Wow, he gets him with the Lariat. Ryu has a super bar. Oh yeah, he does. So this could end in an instant. One. Oh yeah. wow. It's not gonna be over, but it's gonna hurt a lot. But Brick also has super bar. I don't know. Like an EX running bear grab? <laughs> I think uh, 
Yeah, I think he tried to activate there. Yeah. Oh, oh and you got me. He tried to get away with murder, but it didn't oh. happen. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that was a pretty crazy winners finals. You got me definitely shattering the hopes of all the brick fans. Uh, yep. So actually, you're up next in loser semis. Yeah. Against the uh, Bublam. So this is another first to two. After this that, we're back to first three. Uh, let me see if I can get someone on. Uh, like Lufa, maybe. Lufa. Lufa. You can come a commentary on the veil. On the veil. All right, we're bringing uh, Lufa up here. Um, Scotton versus Boblon now in uh, loser semifinals. Should be another match of Karen versus uh, Chun Li. What's up, homeboys? <clears throat> it's the anti hero. Anti hero. Oh, man. We're up at 200 viewers. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, yeah, Sangu's V trigger is unsafe. It's minus five. Uh, you can do some sort of MIDI setup with it where I think it becomes safe, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, on uh, block Green and Ponzi. stuff, it's uh, minus five. Lee. So we got Skotan and uh, Bublam. I believe uh, that Brick said it was minus in all situations, just people don't know it. Yo, this is like David and Goliath. <laughs> That's true, Bubble is so tall. Round one. Oh, names are wrong. Fight. This happens all the time. Because people keep like connecting on the different sides. Okay, so uh, Bublam going in very hard in the beginning. Oh wow, this is gonna be stunned. No, he messed it up! Bob Lun, please. Good sweep. Yeah. Okay, he gets the first counter. And it goes for the pro. Nice. Bob Lund takes the first round. That's actually true. Chun is rocking the sweet costume. Karen is a bit Norway, actually. Like, costume wise? Red, blue, and white? Oh, well, yeah, kinda. And Bablan, he keeps saying he's an honorary Norwegian player. So oh, really? This makes sense, we got Sweden versus Norway going on. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, sick anti air. Yeah, very good. Good stuff from Skatan. Can he keep Dolphins up? Okay. Get some good. Matches in. Oh, nice. that was sick. Good stuff. Good job by Dublin. Okay. Some quality oh, neutral. Wow. I thought he, thought he was going to get full meter there. And just finish it with super. But he didn't quite get it. Boblin takes the first game. It's up 1-0. He doesn't need it, man. He doesn't need to use the super. <laughs> Karen is a German flag upside down. That's... That's kind of true. <laughs> Shout out to um, uh, Thunder Bear in the chat. I see you home. Seven daggers. Haven't seen you in a minute, man. Who are you playing in uh, five? He plays uh, Bison. Bison? Yeah. He's one of those. Hasn't he heard like what Cody players are switching to? <laughs> like, we're sitting right here. <laughs> Okay, good stuff here from both players. Oh, crush counter. Oh, wow. I thought the sweep was going to hit from that range. Good anti-air. Some, some jab pressure right here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Goes right through the fireball. Bison, Ryu, and Chun. Not bad, man. Not bad. Pretty good picks. I think both Ryu and Chun are probably top three. Oh, that was... So nice. Yeah, nice. Oh, Fergus. A lot of people showing up in the chat. Oh, going for the chip. Oh, no! He got the bottom back jump! Yo! Oh, wow, really? No. And she's Holy laughing about shit. it. Come on. Why? What a scumbag. Why would he jump back, though? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, good stuff. Oh, 
Bubblegum making use of uh, Karen's great buttons. Definitely. Bubblegum going in hard here. Bubblegum was actually the winner at the launch tournament for uh, Street Fighter 5. We had a while ago here, but uh, he was playing only Nash then. Which he hasn't played at all. Nice. Good. Oh, punish. didn't get the full juggle. It's really difficult to get those uh, juggles right. So that's Scott and it's big trouble. Oh, nice. Oh, we should have gone straight for super, I think. It was kind of an iffy range there. Oh, and Bublin takes it. Scotland's out in fourth place. So Bublin's up. Uh, to keep playing in Losers Finals. So Losers Finals is going to be Bublin versus Brick. Um, he might actually go Nash now. Since it's against Sankey. Possibly, yeah. Uh, because... Uh, I know Brick hates Nash with a passion, but Brick also has been studying this matchup a bit. In Can, he got narrowly eliminated by Will Tupac, who was playing uh, Nash at the time. Oh, he did? So close. So close. It was like a pixel. Uh, so, I think Bublin might go uh, Nash here, but I think he'll be in for a bit of a rude awakening as well. Because it's not going to be as free as last time they Definitely played. Definitely not. Brick is a hard worker. He is. He's gone in very, very hard in Street Fighter V so far, and uh, he's showing no signs of stopping. Round one. Fight. We're seeing a ton of people here spectating the game yeah. live. We got a pretty good crowd, and uh, we got a lot of people at home watching. That's really nice to see. It's great seeing like the Stockholm scene represent, right? Because Absolutely. where I'm, I'm from Uppsala. We don't we don't really have a scene. We have me and Genkan. Yeah. And uh, we would love people from Uppsala. Please start like pulling your weight. We want you to start showing up. Exactly. Let's start bodying Stockholm. They're free, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, man, everyone watching, please tune in This is next month as well, because this is a monthly. Yeah, We're going to be playing this every month. Um, we have some weekly tournaments as well over yeah, at uh, the Light Dash stream, uh, playing at Dragon's Lair. It's the A-League Qualifier. It's the right? A-League Qualifiers. So uh, that's going to be on Monday the, uh, Monday the 21st, I believe, is going to be the next one. Good so yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Thanks for tuning in, man. Round one. Okay, so Bablan uh, picking Nash after all against Brick. Uh, I don't know if Bablan. I mean, I'm assuming Brick is gonna play as well as he did against Wilton Pack in France, and I don't think Bablan's prepared for that. I think we're gonna see a character switch from Bablan if Brick plays at that level. At that level. This is first to free as well because it's loser's finals. Okay, Brick doing really well so far. Oh, that was great. Very good stuff from Bubblin there. Cute little frame nice, trap gets there. the first counter, and you get an SPD from that. Oh, that wasn't actually a combo. It's only the full charge one that gives the full combo, but he just read that Bubblin was going to stay put. And he got it. People don't jump. Here. They really don't. Yeah. The Italy tournament is supposed to be streamed, and I'll post it on Event Ops when I get home, but I don't know the stream yet. Uh, but uh, as soon as this tournament ends, I'm heading straight home, and I'm going to work that one. So check Event Ops within an hour, maybe, and you'll probably see the Italy tournament there. Hopefully. Very good stuff from Break. Nice. This is so exciting to watch because these both players have great reactions. Absolutely. Fantastic reactions. It's great to watch them play. These are very solid players overall. And uh, I do think this is a very difficult matchup for Sangin. But Brick, as we were saying, he's been grinding it out. He's been doing his own part. But Bublin takes it that, one, that round. He used a lot of meter though. So Brick is fully stocked. He's got that cheap stuff. Nice SPD. Yeah, very good. Yeah. 
Okay, so Rick train. Oh wow, Great very play. good stuff from Bablan there. Rick might have been using the V skill a little bit too much. Bublan just taking it easy. He's got the life lead, he doesn't need to commit. Rick with a full bar and almost full punish. B bar as well. Oh, I thought it was going to get a punish, but not quite. Capcom! Capcom! Oh, I don't even know what to say. This is just... I mean, it was 1-1 one, one in rounds, it was fairly close. The only thing we can really do is just play it over, right? I guess. That's so fucking good. <laughs> Capcom. Why you do this, Capcom? Oh, sounds good. Yeah, we're starting over. Capcom, why? <laughs> Alright. I think it defaults to online when you start the console. Aggressive start. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What a random whip on it. Bubble on a bit scared to anti air there. Wow, very good armor. Nice. Brick going in hard. Can't keep the pressure up though, and Bublin uh Bublin's lung gauge disappears. Brick currently rolling his face on the stick. <laughs> Great Lariat. Okay, goes for the meaty setup, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, wow. oh cute. Okay. Good stuff here from Bublan. Oh no, Brick didn't quite get over, but he still managed to get an SPD out because he only got hit by the first. Oh, and he gets him with the jabs. Nice. Brick takes the first round. Round two. Fight. That was well timed by Brick as well. He Very just waited good. a split second yeah. in order to get the jab on the right side. Good stuff. Very good. Oh, nice. Good stuff from Brick there. Okay, nice. Bubble and get a lot of damage here. Oh, but what? Rick doesn't get it. Oh my god. The online special dash and throw. Oh, that's a punish. Nice. A lot of damage here. What can Bubblin do? Okay, goes for the mini setup again, doesn't quite get it. Oh, wow. Bubblin going in. Oh, Brick gets him, nice! Why are you pressing Brick buttons the on me, boy? <laughs> okay, so Brick's up 1-0 in... Uh, uh, losers finals. Again, this is first to three. It wasn't a punish on the moonsault, Zach, but it was a punish on the button he pressed after the moonsault. Because every Nash player pushes buttons after moonsault. That's just... So moonsault is plus? Yeah, it is. Okay. But everyone presses buttons after, so you can just... Yeah, okay, so it wasn't a punish, but it was a very good call. I mean, Sangi Super is one frame, and there are a lot of moves that are, you know, safe, but still minus one or two. So I thought it could have been a punish, but okay. The Hugo it was tech. just a very, very good read. Oh! -ho -ho! Just like that, a very good read. Good stuff there. 
Bablan very low right now. Oh, <laughs> Frick gets in with the running bear grab. I think Bubba might be in big trouble right now. Brick is so cute right now that he's growing those anime eyes. <laughs> That's how cute he oh, is. Oh, nice. Wow, Brick really has his number right now. Oh, not quite. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, that works. Oh no, sorry. That was just uh, read on Bubble doing next thing. You can actually do that in Super though. Yeah. Oh nice, but it didn't get a follow up. Oh wow. Brick not getting like huge combos or anything, but he's getting some very solid counter pokes. Whoa, what is going on? Bubbling close. Has good resources as well. Brick, too. Oh no, there we go. Bubblin takes the round, uh, second round, second game. I suggest you stick final round. Moving into this match, uh, Bubblin with two bars and Brick with full stick of butter. Okay, good stuff there from Bubblin. Oh, and then he gets it again. No bar left, but he was meter well spent, I'd say. Okay, what can Brick do here? Oh, no. That didn't hit. Bubblin getting some solid damage here. Oh, EX bear grab, but doesn't reach. Goes for the SPD. Oh, wow. Bubblin definitely waking up now. It's fun to watch Brick because his strings. They look random as hell. Yeah. But it's actually very methodically practiced. Absolutely. Okay, so it's 1-1 now between Brick and Bablan. Again, this is a pretty difficult matchup for Sign Games, but I do think that Brick has a lot more experience in this particular matchup than Bablan does. He does, definitely. Yeah, because Bablan hasn't been playing Nash one. that much uh, since the... Uh, he played him all the time in the beta, but since the actual game came out, he hasn't played Nash that much. While Brick has been playing almost exclusively Sangi. I think Brick has also played more in general. That's also true. Yeah. Brick has played more in general. Wow, that crouching jab just going in. Oh, nice. Gets the push counter. This is looking more even now. Bubba had a very dominant round, but it looks like Brick's back in it. Whoa! Really? And he gets him with the meaty. Okay, gets out of there with the V-reversal. Oh, gets with the poke, and this should be an EXSPD to close out the round. Nice. Brick is the best, man. Brick is he's, really he's good. the best. I love, I love watching Brick play. The thing, though, is... After seeing Yagami versus Brick in Winners Finals be a 3-0, I'd almost rather see Bubblin go up against Yagami. Because I think Bubblin would probably have a better shot against him. Maybe, because but... Brick, Brick was looking pretty free in that match, actually. He, he did, but I think um, I think Brick wants to run back more than anything right That's now. That's true. Maybe maybe he wants to run back well enough that he's actually like figuring stuff out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how you know it. That EX was a message to us. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm here to play. Stop it. Oh! oh, oh, oh. That was oh, blah. sick! Don't test this guy's reactions, man. Wow. The cheap shit. Nice. 1-1. One, one. Final round. Fight. Again, this is loser's final, so it's first to three. So uh, nobody's on match point quite yet. Okay. Good right, confirm. Going for that. It's a really good corner carry on that combo. Actually. It also it's also pretty easy to confirm. I think. Yeah. It does decent damage. Not huge, but you know. Oh. Go. Oh, nice. Great. Cute stuff. Man, can Brick make this happen somehow? And the chat is currently reading Brick's oh, mind. Still got him with the EX running back. 
My god. Oh, wow. Huge damage here. A lot of stun, too. Rick was not prepared for Bubbles' teleport. Can he get something here? Goes for the spin again. Doesn't quite get anything. Okay. Oh, breaking big trouble. No more V meter. And he hit from Bubble with Kayla right now. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Gets the SPD. Come on now. What's he got? USSR. Oh, my God. What's he got? Letting this watch. Oh, this great this punish from Bubble. And he just turned around. Good stuff. 2 1 Bubble. Nash wins. Man, Bubble is doing work with that Nash. Yeah. You said he hasn't played it a lot? He hasn't played Nash almost uh, at all since uh, after the beta. Wow. Since the actual game came out, he's only been playing other characters. But to be fair, during the beta, he played Nash. Hey, man, he, he, can, he can actually play whatever he wants. Yeah. He's one of those people who can just play whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you tuning in now, uh, we were talking earlier that Bloodland has been playing around with like the majority of the cast just to figure them out know how to counteract different characters so he has a lot of different characters to go to he's already played three different ones on stream this one oh wow bad call on the SPD we do this And Rick with his back up against the wall right now. Okay, nice. No, what? Some Kun got him anyway. Oh, oh my god. Rick, huge trouble right now. Oh, wow. He got the Prodigy style and Nash with one headbutt. Oh, the overhead. Anime eyes everywhere. Round two. Fight. That's a button you don't see every day. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Bublin's uh, clo gonna close this out soon. Unless Brick can really figure something out here, it looks like it's Bublin's game. Wow. Man, Brick's so backed up right now. I don't even know what he can reasonably do here. He doesn't have uh, the meter for his cheap reversal option. No. He might just be done. Could be. Looks like he's out of ideas. Oh, oh that nice. was nice it's though. Okay. What can he get from here? Okay. No. It is full bar, but like with this life efficiency. Boblon just uh, doing the yeah. online Nash special. I can't. Yeah. Brick out of this. Brick ends up in third place, looking very Nash disappointed. Brick. I mean, good stuff, Brick, but you're playing Stockholm's Poppy right now. Yeah. Bablon with a smile, the mustache and smile, he looks like a like 1920s villain. He only needs a top hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, finals coming up, grand finals. We got Bablon in loser's side and Yagami in winners. Yagami with uh, the high school goth <laughs> haircut. You know Yagami actually worked uh, as a model for a while. I, I can see that. He has yeah, the doll on. Really. He really He's a good looking dude. Fight. Oh, we got Leffen in the chat. It's Leffen. Yo, Leffen, I see you, homeboy. What's up, Leffen. Nah, you're too well, you're... Yo, 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 Richard, Richard. Yeah. Yo, 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 Oxo. 
Okay. Leffen, Leffen, when I go into your stream, why are you always playing Dota? I wanna, Leffen, see, I wanna see you play some fun stuff. Leffen with the win streak. Uh. The win streak, guys. <laughs> You're never gonna live that down, you know? You're never gonna live that down. Leffen, Stockholm's official rage quitter. Okay, so Bob <laughs> one moving on to uh, Cammy. Oh, they switched sides? God damn it. Uh, so Yagami, Ryu versus Bablan, uh, Kami. This is uh, the uh, grand finals. Let's see if Bablan can reset it. I hope not. You hope not? No, I got money on. Oh, oh no, yeah, I, I, I got money on. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I got. Uh, Fight. I bet honor. We don't bet money in the FGC. I wish Leffen was here, but as far as I know, he's uh, at, I think it's called Kickstart, a, a British monthly uh, uh, Smash Bros. Melee. Oh yeah, he plays uh, he plays children's games, right? We don't have Ixion on common. <laughs> we don't have Ixion on common there. We have Event Hub's very own Maj Intention on and uh, Luffe. Oh yes. Some good pressure. Looking like SF4! Yeah. No respect! Oh shit, Bashfest is awake in the chat. He has no interest in hearing about the rage quits. Anyway, back to the match. Pretty close here, but... Uh... Oh, nice! Can do... Oh! Ah, not Can quite! Be oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crowd goes crazy for that one. Wow, you got no! so ready, so ready. You come next month? Well, happy to see you, Leffen. You're always welcome. Maybe I'll put you on commentary a bit too. Oh, he's Bring got in all the he, hip boys. Dude, have you seen when Leffen does commentary? I've seen him do commentary with Mango and it's the best thing ever. He did, he did commentary like... Um, at some Australian tournament, That's and <laughs> that was the greatest thing. Wow. I'm still laughing. Oh my god. Uh, so, Boblin, probably not that mentally shocked from that uh, ending though, because he's definitely got mental fortitude when it comes to tournaments. Kami's V-Skill is amazing. It's good, if you use it the right way. I mean, a lot of lower level players would just use it very gimmickly. Yeah. Oh man. But it's strong. It is, yeah. Grateful. So, Yagami takes the first game. 1 0 Yagami. Fourth win for player two. Round one. Fight! Some cute footsies. We're seeing the crowd some is right butt. behind them, but you can't hear them because we're a bit away from the uh, station. We can see the crowd. But I don't think you're gonna hear them through our mics. They're not that close to it. It's also a Swedish crowd, so they're not actually yeah. gonna. They're it's not it's gonna a pop crowd, up. So instead of going, yeah, they go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they okay. raise their hand and do a little dance. Be very dominating performance from Yagami right now. I know Bublin told me earlier that there's absolutely no way he's going to play Karen against Yagami. But I mean, maybe he switch from Kami. What was I that? Wow. Wow, Good. Yagami Good. putting everyone on notice. Like, he underperformed a little bit in a few, like, in the small events we've had so far. Uh, like, at the A League qualifier, he got fifth and stuff, you know, it was like, eh. Uh, but he's definitely here to show that, like, that was a good. That was against <laughs> Bash, though, right? Uh, yeah, he lost to Bash Fest and. Pax, maybe? I don't remember. But yeah, he was eliminated by Bash Fest at least. Yeah. And Bash is Bash, you know? He's fundamentally strong. He is. He's just the there we player. Go. Yagami up 2 0. Oh, no, no, no. Don't hate on the European crowd. France goes fucking nuts. Trust me. The French crowd, they're insane. But that's, that's a Street Fighter country, right? They. they they excel is, in Street yeah. Fighter. France like, is definitely the biggest, uh, not just Street Fighter, fighting game country in Europe. Definitely, definitely. definitely. France have their own scene. You can't even say like the European scene and lump in France really, because France is its own. 
Okay, so Bobla moving over to Nash after all. Uh, this is the character he's gonna stick with, have to stick with for the rest of the set. Do you think it'll work out? I don't know. I haven't seen him play this against Ryu for quite some time. And Yagami is very solid, so um, I don't know, man. I think there's a problem in uh, switching characters too much. Uh, Leffen, there's a lot of reasons why Bubble doesn't want to play Karen, but um, the gist of it is he thinks Cam is better than Karen at like the same areas. That's basically the reason. Okay, um, Bublin doing a pretty good start here against Yagami. Oh wow, that was weird. And he's gonna press after the moves. Of course, why not? If you're positive after it. Yo, Yagami getting pressured. Yeah, this looks like a good switch so far, but maybe it'll just like be one of those situations where Yagami needs a little bit to adjust. Maybe, but Bublan is currently making Yagami his wife below, so yeah. it's looking good. Wow, Bublan didn't get cancelled, that's weird. If Bublan loses this round, I'm gonna like scold him afterwards because that was his round. He had Oh he what had is him. he doing? He had him! What Bublan, is he doing? Please! <laughs> Baby! Bublan, please! Why? Why did you do this? And now he's sticking to doing the Nash online. Oh my oh. god, Bublin, why? <laughs> why? Okay, yeah, Bublin's out. Like, if he messes that up and then loses a round from it with like a 70% lead, yeah. What is he That's doing? Not, this isn't gonna happen, I don't think. I think you just want to run. Okay, good pressure here from Yagami. Bublin in big trouble. Good crush counter. I may have colluded though. You colluded? Yeah, maybe. Maybe sent a little text to Bubba. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I don't think so. I think this is just Bubba being free. It is. It is. <laughs> this is looking like uh, SF4 A League all over again. Pretty much, yeah. They're probably <laughs> just popping everyone. Oh, really? Oh, wow! Okay, Yagami takes it. The first Street Fighter V Web Holland Stockholm Showdown. Yo, that Yagami was sick. Yagami takes it. Did he even drop a game this entire... Yeah, he did. He did. I think he dropped one. Probably. Let me double check. Because Yagami... There, there... Yagami did not Never drop mind. a single game. Okay, so he's Yagami, the best player Yagami in the world. did not drop a single game this entire tournament. Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. Yagami just busted everyone in Stockholm being like, it's still it's still my era. It's still my year, it's still my game. You guys got nothing on me. Yagami will never let go of those nuts. He'll just <laughs> exactly. keep squeezing it. Yeah, Yagami has uh, Stockholm in the vice grip. Oh wow, okay. God, there we go. Okay, Yagami takes it clean. Um, Alright, I guess we're gonna shut down the stream probably. Um, yeah, I wanna drink. <laughs> I gotta oh, go damn. work, actually. I you gotta do? Go, yeah, I gotta go post that Talia tournament on Event Tops. Oh That's wow. Some other stuff too. Good luck with that. Yeah, alright, <laughs> guys, so uh, stay well. Uh, it was nice having you. Leaving the stream on for a second now because we might have some exhibitions or whatever, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm leaving commentary anyway. So, um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, the next A-League qualifier will be on... I'll leave the link because it's a different stream. Uh, here's the A-League qualifier will be, be at this channel on uh, Monday the 21st. Swedish golf claps all yes. over. Uh, you will be able to see pretty much the same players play then. And again, we're gonna have uh, this uh, Web Holland tournament is a monthly. We're gonna show up time and time again. And uh, thanks for joining us. This was Event of Very Own Majin Tenshinan. And.
This is uh, Luf Tier God. Luf Tier God. Also wow. known as Bud Buster Sex Brigade. And uh, it was a pleasure commentating with you, Majin. Oh, yeah. You're always Thank a you. fun person to be with. <laughs> and shout out to you, the man. stream chat. Thank you all for yeah. being here. It was yeah, great. Yeah, it was really fun commentating and really nice to see such high numbers. Thank you guys, really. Please, please keep tuning in. Uh, <laughs> we're very happy to have you. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more action, guys. Stay free.
Thanks for watching och sen så tuning out och någonting så bara stänga av. Vi pekade på 320. 320 pers! Yep. How do I... Alltså, jag kan inte... 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 Jo, 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 jo. Nej, du måste lära dig. Om du inte kan, om du inte kan så måste du lära dig. Tryck på broadcast-knappen där. Vart? I menyraden. File, add source, view, broadcast. Och sen klickar du där det står Twitch. 